nigga son, they going stupid. What it do, what it do, it's your boy PG13 The Real, and I'm here with my boy Playboy Bishop. You got uh, Sully in the back. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, and we interviewing the one and only Heen. What's up, man? We got Heen the boss nice in the you, building, man. Nice man. We got Heen the boss in the building. Up, Shout bro? out to my boy, man. What's, What's going good, on, man? So, so we got a couple questions we want to ask you. I want to start out by asking you where you from. Well, I'm from Hilton Head. Okay. In Miami, you know. My mom's from Miami. My dad's from Hilton Head, but she got, you know, my grandpa's from Hilton Head, also my mom's side. Cool. So it's like a mixture of both. Were you born on Hilton Head? Yeah, born on Hilton Head. So crazy about that. How I was born on Hilton Head was, my, I never met my grandpa. Hmm. And my grandpa's from the island. But what's crazy about that is my grandpa passed away, was it uh, two days before my birthday? Yeah. I was born July 26th. Hmm. He was born July 24th, 24th. My mom was pregnant here. She had me here, then she took the plane, took me to Miami, moved back here. Hmm. So you grew up in Miami a little bit? Well, really, I grew up, really, it's, it's more so grew up both. So it's okay. like, I'll be here during school and everything, go to Miami during the summer. Okay. So it's like back and forth, back and forth. So on I'm the regular. Here, on the regular. So it's like, damn. Okay, yeah, so yeah. like, the best of both worlds. Like, I'm in Miami every, yeah, like, every summer. summer like, saying, every know, summer. You, know? in Miami. You, said, like, you said your mom's really side was in Miami and yeah, your dad's was my, here? My mom's side is honestly here, here, here in Miami, you know? My mom's, so my grandma, she's from Miami. And my mom's father is from Hilton Head. Okay. And where, my dad is from Hilton Head Island, you know? Okay. So where like, Were they originally based in Miami? And then... Uh, my, uh, no, originally based here. How did, my, how did they end up here? Shit so crazy. My grandpa somehow was in Miami. Don't know the story. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Was in Miami, met my grandma, and that's how we end up being from Miami and knowing that side of that, you know, that world, you know? Okay. A different, whole different culture right there. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know. So what made your family first move here? Or were they based here, like, forever? Yes, 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 yes. That's what I was saying. Oh, okay. Much, like, yeah, Granny yeah. just happened to Granny go to Miami. Granny just happened. No, no, my grandma's from Miami. Okay. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Okay, okay. My grandma's from Miami. That's my mom's mom. Okay. But my grandpa is my mom's dad, and he's from Hilton Head also. Okay. Cool. And so he's been there, like... He's been here, like, shit so crazy. Generation. Like, generation. That park is on the corner? Mm-hmm. Right like up. my grandpa them sold that. Like my uncle Deep, he sold that land to have Parkers. That's why Parkers the gas station. So you have like Gullah Gullah yeah. Geechee roots. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you can say that. Yeah, Gullah Geechee roots. Yeah, yeah most definitely. Most, most definitely, definitely, you know. Yeah, you've been here forever. I, forever. I ain't gonna lie though. When I, I love it, here, you know what I'm saying. Man, yeah. when I when I hear Hill Head, hey, when I hear yeah. when I hear Hill Head, all I think about is the Bucks, man. It's it's money out there. Yeah. Hill Head for all real. I think about is Gullah Gullah Island. Yeah, Hill Head, man. Hill Head is like. Hilton Head is the best. I ain't gonna lie. Man, we, see, grew, up, we grew up fast. I ain't gonna lie. I'm from here, right? But yeah. he talking about Sully said that, so I had to, I gotta say something about I went here. He talking about when he think of Hilton Head, he think of Gullah Gullah Island. No, when I think of St. <laughs> Helena, I think of Gullah Gullah Island. Yeah. Well, bro, when but I like, lived in New York, I used to watch Gullah Gullah Island, and at that point, I was like vacationing here. Yeah. And it was like based on the low country, you know? So it was like, that's like how I connected. I mean, it's the definitely two. both the islands, though. Like, it's definitely both, but. Nah, it is. For not, people who don't is. know, we going to clear it up. It's definitely both the islands. Exactly. Yeah. But I feel like, no disrespect. Man, Hilton Head is different, man. It's just so yeah. much going on. When and somebody says the island, you think Hilton Head. Yeah, I feel like you you think you think no disrespect to St. Helena though, that. because I don't think I've that. been over there one time. I'm like, man, that's the island too, though. They they hey. I mean they're both. See, Hilton Head got that st- Hilton Head got that type like, oh my god, this is just a resort island, but mm. it's some real like, you know, it's it's it's, it's some stuff in Hilton Head that make you like, oh shit. I will this on Hilton Head Island. Yeah. You know if what I'm saying? If you go somewhere else and you be like, you from the island, they're going to be like, what, Hilton Head? They yes. will say that. So if you go out of this area it, yeah. and say you're from the island, they're going to not know what the fuck you're talking about. If you say, say Helena. Man, you know like, what? I'm going to tell you, like, from uh, listening to like Hilton Head, you know, I ain't, I ain't never knew it was like a, a, a bad part of Hilton Head. I thought it was all good. I feel like this. It's all good. Hey, I, but I'm going to put it like this. I'm just going to put it like <laughs> it's this. It's a bad place everywhere. It's a bad place yeah. everywhere. Nice. But it be the places where... They just make it seem like, oh, this is this paradise. It's not even bad places. It's more so like they hide the real. That's Fact. the real. Yeah. That's the real. Yeah, yeah. For marketability. Right. Like, like when I go, like if I go out of town or out the country, take me to the real place. Don't take me to this 
oh, this is just paradise. Man, I want to know yeah. where I can go to Auntie House and get that I mean, real dude, food, <laughs> that real love, and like yeah. they can take me to the like, show me the culture, take me to the hood spots. Hilton Head is like one of the. Hilton Head's like and Hilton Head got all that. It's one of the top. It's like one of the top five vacation destinations in the country, bro. So it's like thing if they're marketing it, they don't want people to be like scared to come here. They want they want it to look like it's this paradise. Man, listen, man, and it's not just one part of Hilton Head. It's all of Hilton Head, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just different different places on Hilton Head, dog. You're going to get different vibes. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? So it's like, it's more so I'm saying that because I could say that because I've been all over Hilton Head, <clears> but mainly where I was raised and where I was from, uh, Spanish Wells, you know, Bryant Road. But mm -hmm. then when I got older, we moved to Chapman. You know what I'm saying? And that's like where I was like, damn, boy, this is like that. You know? Like, it's different. You yeah. know, it's just different places you go. It's gonna be different love. Different Hilton Head is definitely one of a so kind. So they make Hilton Head like one vibe, and it's not just one vibe. You go yeah. anywhere you want. You know what I'm saying? I love Hilton Head. Every <laughs> time I went to Hilton Head, it's, ne it's never been nothing but all love. the way down to Caligny, yeah. all the way down to the north end and the south end. You know what I'm saying? Like Makes I said, me feel like I'm on vacation. Yes, it's different went, parts. Yeah. Like, it's different I didn't even, even know Hilton Head was so big. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's tough, like, until I got you on vacation. It's tough. Like it's different parts. As soon as you get on the bridge. You got the Pope, Squire Pope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but then also, you make it right. You go down Spanish Wells. You go down Marsh Lane. You got Chaplin. Hey, but also you know it depends saying? on the time of the year. Like, it's totally different in, like, the winter, fall, mm -hmm. than the summer and spring. Like, it's like two different fucking places. Like, man, it go for fucking blazing hot. To goddamn boy, it's fucking cold. It's about to snow. Like, <laughs> and it go from, what? like, you know everybody that's out to you know nobody, nobody. that's out. Nobody. And then, boom, everybody pop back up again. Facts. Cause you know why? It's a fucking island. This shit getting better and better by the year. Since I was little, that's how that shit been. And shit, it's even yeah. spreading out to Bluffton now, to be real. Like, and I there's some lie. dope spots. Bluffton is lit, because <laughs> I've been ahead all my life, back and forth. We uh, loaded kids, we going to Miami, and then when I got older, shit, rent, rent got high in my head. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, yeah. let's keep it real. So we went to Bluffton. And man, I ain't gonna lie, that was the best thing I ever did, was move to Bluffton. It's a lot of cheaper. history here in general, bro. Yeah, like, it, just, it just showed me how to respect it. Like, damn, boy, this shit this close to the island. These boys lit just like us. Mm, These people man. more cool. These people, t like, you know. Hey, like, I know you remember high school when the beef was bluffed in Hilton Head. Man, I think I stopped that shit. <laughs> For I, real? Like, I feel like I stopped that shit because I started having parties and, like, dog. You fucking broke. I was at 15 you years old having a party at fucking Myrtle's. That's a fucking interior designer place right mm -hmm. now. You know, and 15 like, years old, I was having parties at the fishing camp. Me and my cousin Lamont. I think I walked to the one at Myrtle's. What, dog? Five dollars to get in, dog. I will never forget. We made a thousand dollars a piece Damn. at 15 years old. So that's, we'll that's come back fine. to like your you yeah. growing up, but let's talk about the parties, bro. You've been doing that shit forever, like as long as I've known you, yeah. almost, bro. <clears throat> like when did when did you start throwing parties, and how did that go hey. about? <laughs> what made you start wanting to throw parties? I ain't gonna lie, Hilton Head Island. Yeah. <laughs> you know, growing up watching uh. Reality shows and shit. Okay. Man, hanging around those folks, playing football. What reality and, shows were you watching? Like, shit, growing <laughs> up, you already know. What it was like, uh, it's all type of reality shows. I only got like love and hip hop, but you know, the old yeah. reality shows like The Hills and yeah, yeah, how you got yeah, these rich people Hill, and College yeah. Hills. And, Flavor you know, of Love. No. Flip, nah, <laughs> it, 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 not, it was some shit going on like Flavor of Love. Jersey around. Shore was probably popping Jersey at Shore that was popping yeah, around Jersey that Shore time. So it was like, bruh. Being like we were so advanced, we was around people that was actually like living at big mansions, be going to these parties and shit. And I'm just sitting here like, damn, bro, like, I don't want to do that. But I want to just chill and do this shit, yeah. man. But I just took what I had and just started doing it. Man, I threw a house party. My mama is a nurse; she worked twelve hour damn. shit. I'm probably gonna get in trouble. I'm talking about this shit right now. <laughs> Money, but she worked twelve. <laughs> she worked twelve hour shit. You know, being at CNA, man. One time, my mama said, "Yeah, she ain't coming home," and it was a fucking Friday. And she said she don't work late. She gonna get off like around ten. Wait, you never told her this? No, ah, never told her this. I'm, I'm telling now. Yeah, <laughs> do a party, right? Never, not gonna lie, man. It's right here on Gerard Ave in Bluffton, man. Downtown Bluffton, do a party, about two hundred kids. Damn. I know that shit was out of control. Two hundred kids, right? Shit so crazy. Think about the house: three bedroom house, two baths in the garage. Oh my god. Two hundred people in that bitch. I made jungle juice. Mm. Selling that bitch five dollars, five dollars a cup. I'm limited jungle juice. Man, it was lit, man. I'm talking about 15 year old kids having fun. Your you know? parties have always been you know lit, what bro. Yeah. They, they like it's like local, like legend, like yeah. Even back in the day, bro, it's like anybody who graduated like 2014 or before. I feel like it was like it was. They, they got if a, you had a party, they that got was a, the they thing. got a story about. I feel like anybody that grew up with us have a story about one of my parties. 
And it's like the younger days. So it's like that story I was telling about my mom is how like shit she found out or didn't really find out. Clean up was that the, the first part of your Yeah, served? the first part I ever threw. Clean up the whole house. But you know how you move the furniture, you forgot where to put the furniture at? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I told my homeboys. <laughs> she like, noticed? Hey, I told my homeboys, hey, we gonna sleep in the living room. Like, we, oh. Like, made yeah. patterns and shit. Make dog. it look natural. Man, we yeah. all laying down, dog. Whole house clean. Shit so crazy. I forgot to clean the computer room. Damn. Dog, why is it chunks of pineapples from the jungle juice, dog? <laughs> and she said, now, she still don't know, because she said, now, why y'all, like, who were eating in, who were eating this room? You know how your mom, like, She was like, who the room? fuck was eating like, pineapples? Like, who eating pineapples in this fucking room? Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, man, my bad, man. This nigga Dimitri, dumbass. Da, 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 you fucking know? pineapple loving motherfucker. Pineapples and shit. <laughs> Bruh, got away with that shit. And, and, Damn. Damn, Dang. boy. It's always something people. like that when you throw a house party yeah. as a kid. Two hundred people, bro. I'm like, damn, That's boy. Cover, and the bro. screen door broke, but that shit was already raggly anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I said, man, that. I slammed it by accident, but damn, it was like, God. Oh, was that bro. the worst shit that happened at this party? That was the the, uh, the worst shit. Everything was, else was smooth. Everything I'm talking about, shit we wasn't supposed to be doing. Girls dancing, wild and naked, yeah. twerking. Like, what Come the on, fuck? Was this was one of the ones. This one of the ones like, hey, like you get your homeboy and be like, boy, hold me up real quick. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 bro. Those like, were the what? days when we were yeah. like, bro. Dang. I'm just saying, that's Man, when we were doing shit day. we weren't supposed to be doing. Somebody now got it's like trained at this party too. That's why I was too. saying, like, I just got exposed to that. Like, like that's why I don't have so cool because you got exposed to that shit. Hang around, like, you know, your white friends that just like the rich white friends, and they showing you shit you never seen before, but. That's shit. one thing about Hilton Head, well, though, too. From, it's like you got manage, some, like, you know? You got some, like, you got, like, a melting pot on Hilton Head. Like, really, everybody be cool. Like, you be having the hood dudes with the fucking gated community. <laughs> fucking, like, for real. Hey, yeah. it been, hey, it's it's been, been, it's like, been like that, that for a minute. It's more so, man, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, don't get me wrong, though. This is everywhere. It's a select few that be skeptical and scared and shit. And it's some, it's some of us that fuck shit up for the rest of us, but I can honestly say... They they fuck with you because they want they they it make them feel cool and make them feel like yo I got an actual back friend yeah mm-hmm. yeah you know? yeah and y'all scared of them but look they cool with me type shit yeah. so it's like, some of yeah, the motherfuckers you know? be feeling like 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 you weirdo they actually yeah. cool as hell though nah but it's they actually cool yeah, as fuck man. I'm not gonna lie hell, so so I want to know like uh where where do you get the name Heem from my real name Raheem and, okay you know my whole life everybody been calling me Heem you know okay. Hmm. And I know, I know you. I know you don't want to. You don't want to uh, speak the whole name. But I know your oh, name is nah. Heem. And the I ain't gonna lie, Heem the Boss is just like a little phase I was going through when I was young. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's he was like, feeling himself. I was feeling myself, <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. I was, and I'm gonna be real. I was most uh, that name came up because I, I gave myself that name. When, what, like, at what age did and you start I, using shit, that name? I'm gonna be so real. Shit, 16 years old. Like 16 years old is like. Me and my homeboys, we thought about rapping and shit, <laughs> making up nicknames and what we gonna call ourselves. But it was more so like I always wanted to call myself that. But when I got older and I started smelling myself, like eighteen, I put that shit on my Instagram tag and that shit been sticking ever since. People, and at that age, bro, is really when you started like, people like been kinda... calling me he and the boss and shit. It was more so like, damn, you was bossing up. At I was, that I, time, I was. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like what I know now. Man, I'm glad I didn't know it back then. I'd have been an evil, evil, evil man. Like, more so because it's lack of knowledge and thinking, like, using your powers the wrong way. You know, manipulating people. You you know, you're a leader, but also these motherfuckers will follow anything you do. Yeah. If you just have access to the you answers, like, yeah, all the answers, you're going to yeah. get that ego. Yeah, and that's what, like, it's like, damn, like, damn. We spoke a, a little bit off camera earlier yeah. about, like, we kind of had to figure this shit out on our own. Like, now, like, the motherfuckers got people giving them advice and, like, Honestly, like, even people like us, like, all of us are out here. Like, we done been through it a little bit. We're kind of giving them pointers and leading them in the right direction. But, like, we didn't have that shit. Definitely. Like, at all. Definitely. No, nah, we didn't at all. We didn't have none of that shit. And that's why I felt like that's kind of where that name came from. Because, shit, I just, man, had to figure this shit out and make some money. And I, I was tired of asking my damn grandma and mom for $20 and shit. And type of, I was no $20 man. Man, I, I wasn't no $20 man. I was like, man, I don't shit, shit I want to do, $20 ain't enough. So I had to figure out certain shit to do. Yeah. Like, so, did, so did you start throwing the parties like to make money? Or yeah, like, I started throwing the parties to make money. I ain't going to lie. Well, that's then, good. At least then, it wasn't like just and, a party. It was, it was not. It wasn't no party. It was more so like, damn, bro. Like, I asked my cousin, Lamont, like, yo, shit. Bro, he was providing the party. Let's throw, let's throw a party. Shit, we have, a, we, I ain't going to lie. My first job was me and my cousin, Lamont, Rick the Hollister. Man, I had a motherfucker. Man, I, I work, nigga. I, I work forty hours a week. Man, Lamar, right? We get paid every week. No, I seen my check. My check was three hundred and fifty dollars. But I was so hurt. 
I was like, what the fuck? Those were those six dollar minimum wage days. <laughs> but listen, bro, I think I was getting paid seven fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lamont checked a little bit more than mine, but I say I worked forty hours, but I'm gonna keep it real. I probably worked twenty four. <laughs> Cause like, I was calling off, bro. I'm like, I'm not doing this shit, man. What Folk. age was this? Man, shit, 15 years old. That was your first job. Damn. Yeah, Hollister. So, so what were you bringing in? Are you getting paid every week? Every damn week, three hundred dollars. But shit, my mama's so real. Mama telling us straight up, like, hey, let me get that. No, nah, <laughs> nah, it was more so like, okay, like I'm, I'm put y'all phone in y'all name, pulling out credit at a young age, you know, trying to teach us shit. But it was yeah, more that's so good I'm shit, like, though. damn, why well, I gotta give my mom my money? Like, yeah. man, my mom, you know? But yeah. not knowing, like, she was trying to show me how to be a man. Early. You think that taught you like responsibility? It and, did. Like, financial, I ain't like, like it, it taught me a lot of responsibility. Now that I could look back at it, I, like now that what I know now. The my value my of mom a was right. My mom was right the whole time. Yeah, mom always right. Mom, 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 hey, I ain't gonna lie. Mama, mama always, always right. Dead always. ass, bro. I, I started like, see, everybody think hustling is like selling drugs. I mean, I was hustling to like do shit that my parents couldn't do. You know, what you skip that step, bro. Money, yeah, I, most I, people I, sell drugs and then figure out, yo, I could apply this to nah, like something legal. Man, like, and this then shit they is not about something. drugs and that shit. This shit is about. Breaking that generational curse and better in your family. You feel what I'm saying? So what was, I, you, I was what, a young man doing that shit. What was your initial investment? Like, was it the money you were making from Hollister? Like, were you stacking up man, and then, I, like... I think we, we, we hit... Our cousins was... They owned the fishing camp, so... You had, like, a hookup. I, mean, I think we paid $500 to rent the, the, the rent the, the buy the door. Or a thousand dollars by door. I don't know how mm. much it was, but I think it was like five hundred, six. I think like six hundred dollars, some crazy high shit. Mm-hmm. Because at, at fifteen years old, nigga, how you got six hundred dollars? Yeah. I told her, I told my dog. I said, I got three hundred. You got three hundred. Let's split the door. We did that, mm. man. I'm not gonna lie, I was so nervous because this is my last three hundred dollars. <laughs> and you're like fifteen, sixteen. I'm fifteen, sixteen. I'm like, yo, these kids' parents gonna drop them off. Like, how this shit gonna work? I said, all girls getting free before eight o'clock, bro. You know, you, you know you got the you know yeah, you got the yeah, the yeah, ones that's, that's gonna that's come good. early that's now. Good, and, and I'm gonna be real, that was before every club used yeah. that. That, that, you, that, that. I was, was hey, that I started that. that all the girls get it for me. <laughs> hey, hey, believe it or not, man, by you giving me your five dollars, I fuck with you. And I make sure you had the time of your life. So all the girls getting in free, but dog, only been like ten girls in there. But I'm so scared. I'm like, boy, I lost, buddy, boy. Yeah, man, it started at eight. Man, I say nine o'clock. All you see is cars pulling up, parents dropping their kids That's off. That's the best. Parents dropping their kids off, and the shit's so real about that, man. My mom and his mom was in the front, dog, letting the parents feel comfortable by them seeing parents. Hell yeah, dog. You would think it was a fucking artist. Out like there. nothing to worry about. Everything's cool. No, we had that shit so packed. Dog, I will never forget. It was no bullshit, no fighting, girls dancing. I'm talking about sweating. So it was like their alcohol and like it was nah, out. no alcohol. It was like sober, fucking it, innocent it was, fun. Dog, it was soda. <laughs> And nothing but 15, 15 year olds, sixteen year olds. Yeah. Shit, so real. Dang, might dope. be some damn sophomores in that bitch, and it might <laughs> be somebody in my ninth grade class. My uh, that's a senior, and I'm a ninth grader in their class, and they yeah. popping out. Yeah. Oh shit, I got seniors in yeah, this. And everybody there. So we I having mean, fun, right? There. That's how you know it's a lit party it's when lit you're party, sober. That's what we doing. I mean, it's a couple motherfuckers drinking yeah, you know. and shit, you know. But when I tell you that we was lit off of fucking just. See yeah, back in the day, those parties were And you different. with your homeboys, you going there to get, you know, get back your dick on hard, yeah, to get twerked on. Back in the days, wasn't yeah. no... And we wasn't worried about... Trying to feel on our titties. We was scared. <laughs> we was scared. I ain't gonna lie. Man, you, we you, was scared. You, you weren't making no music back then, in, in them days? Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. R.I.P. to Willie. Really, he just passed away, man. I ain't gonna lie. R.I.P. I made my first song with really, Willie. He got a uh, he had a studio at his house. They call it OTP, man. Them boys hard. Him and his brother Ronald, Ron G. But what's crazy about that is my first song I ever made was with Willie, man, and he wrote it for me. Like I would never forget. You just like rap some shit he wrote. Hey, I just wrote some rap some shit he wrote, and I heard my voice. I'm like, damn, my shit raspy. And I was a chubby big nigga, you know. So I'm like, Mm -hmm. okay, I like this, you know. You do got a unique voice, bro, on the mic. I'm be real. So I just really just. Man, I didn't take it serious until like later on. Studios weren't as accessible at that time. Not at all, but I'm like, like, but think about it. I'm playing football. Like, I'm at my peak. Everybody think I'm the coolest motherfucker ever. Hmm. Like, I, mean, I ain't about to rap. <laughs> yeah, you know, not knowing like it was cool, but I'm just thinking like, man, I'm worth, I want some money, man. That was before it was cool to be a rapper. Yeah, it was like, like I was yeah. more scared of what everybody else was gonna think. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, it was love, man. So the first party was a success. Right? Success. We I ain't gonna lie, we split a thousand dollars a piece, dog. 
Damn, y- y'all made bro. two grand off of it? Wait, man, you can tell me I was rich. I counted a thousand dollars on the floor. Oh, bro, is that is? <laughs> man, man, I used to walk. I used, hey. to, I used to go to school. <laughs> hey, I used to go to school, buy girls cookies. Yeah. What you want? You want extra lunch? I got you. Yeah, yeah, what, man? Yeah, man. Been iron, I got, ironing hey, in your bills? <laughs> man, I ain't going to lie. I, I done iron my bills, boy. I couldn't Dang. wait till my mama go to work. Man, I was watching, man. I ain't, I'm going to be sure real. I was watching Cash Money, Bling Bling. You couldn't tell me I wasn't them boys. Yeah. So it was coming up off that first party, like that made you like, okay, we're doing this. Like we're gonna I, like, I ain't gonna lie, but we did this shit. We gotta do this shit again. And then that's when we did that shit at Murdos in Bluffton. How soon after the first party did you do that? Shit, uh it been so long ago, I ain't gonna lie. Did the money that you made go into that second party? <laughs> well, I, I ain't gonna lie, I ran through that shit. I bought, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bought, I ain't, but shit, I had enough. Bought hella hey, cookies. I, I, had, I, had, I had, what, hella cookies? Had to get the, had to get, get, the hey, get two pieces. I, was, hey, I got free lunch for a dollar twenty five. But guess <laughs> hey. what? Hey, I, I got get three I, of those. I, I got a dollar. I got a dollar twenty five. If I got two fifty, <laughs> you know. But it was more so shit. I spent this shit just buying shit as a kid with that money, buying shoes and shit, and then goddamn. Probably like during like summer break <laughs> or something, we threw another party at Myrtle's. Dang. And that shit got big. Like it was big as fuck. Was like, that before the shits on the island? What were the black light parties and shit? The ones across from Stews? Was it a black light party? What's that shit that used to be uh across directly across from Stews in Cleveland? Like Dayglo or some shit like that. What you talking no, about? No, what the fuck was that? It was like, it's like that blue building next to the Greek restaurant. You know, oh, like Greek to be me uh, hypnotized on the south. End. Yeah, the yeah. Night. Remember that you, shit? You did, yeah. Did you do some shit there? I think, man. Me and Tehran. Tehran was like my DJ. I got Tehran was hard. I remember that's like Tehran and boys. I think it was like hypnotized or some crazy shit. But I, I it was a teen night in, uh, on the south end. Teen club, bro. Yeah, I remember Monkey Business. Yeah, bro. What? Man, I'm teen parties. Just I ain't never so threw no party at Monkey Business. Man. I was too young to get in. I was like, you'll 11. never see a teen club. I was like these 11 and 12 like years ever. old. Ever. Never. So, yeah, because what teens, 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 teens out here fucking? Man, them shit. Gonna get like, shot up. Like, fucking them boys got more bullets man, and guns than money and, and drugs and everything. And the boy probably got 20 guns and only 20 dollars in their pocket. 20 kids. 20. Yeah, bro. But I'm about to say we got to man. We got to fix this. shit. Back in the days, man, at our parties, man, there was so much bunky getting thrown. It was just fighting. Old boy holding you. It was just fighting. All type of shit. Like you literally had to. It was like. You had to post up on the wall. House how parties. Hard she was throwing like, that bunky on you. Shit, so real. I already, man, we was going to parties. We already know. We on the wall. They coming to us. Or, hey, don't even touch her because you already know she want to dance with me. Yeah. And <laughs> if you my dog, yo, hey, your girl off limit. That's your dance party. That's man. yours. This the island had lit house parties. Hey, when too. I go to the bathroom, don't be on no hating shit. Yeah, man. I'm, coming right, I'm, I'm coming, coming right back. I'm coming right back. I'm coming right back. Now the hey, slow, slow songs come on, you want to grab her. That's cool. <laughs> you, that's your girl with a slow song come on now. When that twerking shit come on, yeah, come on. Come here, Grabbing the wall and all. I'm when Chief, Chief Keith came out. I remember when Chief Keith came out, dog. And we had a party at Murders. I gotta find this picture, man, so y'all boys can pop that shit up on the screen. But that's I shit, remember that shit. That shit came out, dog, when Chibi came out with Don't Like and everybody was leaning back. Mm-hmm. How that shit was cool. That was a thing at the parties. Yeah. And, I mean, that was the fighting music back then. It was nothing you yeah. buck when you was younger. Yeah, but man. No more at our age, it was Chief Key. Remember that man. shit? It was, was fighting. all shooting, man. So you said you, you feel like you squashed the Hilton Head Bluffton beef. More so, like, of my age, man. I don't know what the old dudes got going on. Or shit, I was other. a little older than you. And yeah, I feel but, like it was man, all. I'm talking about the older niggas. Like, more so with us, I don't like. Man, I don't even be. There didn't even about, used to be a Bluffton High School. Like it used to. Just yeah, I don't be even on. be talking about B because I don't be getting into that. I don't be. I don't be knowing. But when I said I stopped that shit, nobody around me was beefing. I mean, bro, what like, a better around, way to squash it than the party? Like, if you around me, we ain't about to be doing no lame shit that like for no reason. Yeah. So if niggas got beef from Bluffton to Hilton Head, like, did you always did you like have homies in Bluffton though? Shit. Uh, or did like your parties just bring the people out? Like, uh, I think the parties are more so. I ain't gonna lie, football. Mm. Football, honestly. Yeah, sports always brought everybody. I knew a lot of people because of football and shit. You know, I was, I was all right at football. I was about to ask you, you a football fan? Well, what you, what you love more? Which, I mean, well, which came, which came first, the music or the love for football? Football. I, ain't t- I told you I ain't start rapping until my homeboy started rapping. That rapping, uh, I, I recorded with Sully at like, shit, I think we was like two thousand. Was it two thousand seventeen? Shit. I was like 21 when I first really started rapping, but my first song was with, with Willie when I said, but oh, yeah, okay. my first love was football. I played football all the way from shit, eight years old to shit, seven, uh, senior in high school. So, so, 
I know you love football. Who your football team is? I ain't gonna lie. Shit, I can say it with pride now, but I always used to whisper the shit like, yeah, <laughs> shit, I like the Dolphins. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you could say hey, but, yeah, hey, I ain't gonna I lie. Gonna I ain't gonna lie, but now... Miami Dolphins. I like that. Hey, yeah. the Miami Man. Dolphins. Yeah. I knew he was gonna say the Dolphins though. I had a feeling. Nah, I, I thought about Miami that the Dolphins. whole way. The whole way here, I said he gonna like Miami. I know yeah. if I asked that question. And I ain't gonna lie, I like Miami and I like Carolina. Like I said, I'm representing both, man. Yeah, okay. I get love in both places. I represent. Shout both. out to Minnesota. Yeah, I'm New England. I'm New England. Shout out to Minnesota. What about I first, you, Sully? I first Who you rocking with? Season, you got a football team? I went up there. It was the us game. and we bust y'all. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Sully, you got a football team? Sully, Sully Tom, 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 Man, Tom, Tom, not really. Not really. That was the I mean, game. I claim the Giants only because I'm from New York, but I, I'm going to hey, be man, real, hey, bro. I'm going to be real. You say that shit with your chest because guess what, nigga? The Dolphins were sorry forever. Yeah. And now... I, and Mike ain't never tell me, oh man, you like him because Tyreek Hill. But I was there when we was yeah, trash. Yeah. See, I came from like the Jeremy Shockey, like Strahan, Manning, like Giants yeah, yeah, when they were fired. Yeah, oh, so you yeah. experienced the Super Bowl. I didn't experience that shit. <laughs> y'all, y'all had Tiki Barber on the Giants too. Yeah, right? hell yeah, yeah, hell I yeah. I used to love Tiki Barber Facts. when I was a little boy. Yeah, them the Dolphins had too. Ricky Williams. Yeah, Ricky hey, Williams. I ain't gonna lie. Those were the hey, like and that's Williams. all we had. And we was rep- Hey, Ricky Williams is the whole offense. He was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna go smoke yeah. weed. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Ricky Williams the reason why I want, I got dreads. He cut them, and I and I cut mine <laughs> and I grew mine back. Dang. And I said, "Well, hey, the reason I got dreads because of Ricky Williams. I wanted number thirty four. I couldn't get it. My dog Timmy had number thirty four. I got number 16. I'm like, well, I want to be Ricky. Ricky Williams was hard, you know. Yeah, yeah facts. I played so. fullback. I was I fast really, at one point until I got bigger and shit. You know, and I started playing. I feel games, that. You know? <laughs> right. Nah, hey, don't get it twisted. I can still move. Hey, facts yeah. though. Like, hey, I, 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 I surprised, never, I, I never surprised a lot of people. I you know? never doubt a bigger person. Yeah, <laughs> I surprised a lot of people. All right, so no cap though. Um, we can switch the flow real quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, bet, bet. Um, okay, nigga, so yeah, yeah I want to. Nah, <laughs> I want to get into you a little more because I know you, you, you going up right now, I man. You got a lot of shit going on and shit. Nice. I'm loving the clothing. You feel me? So I want you to get in, hey, get into that. Speaking right? of that, bro. I got something for y'all boys. You do? Oh, damn. Hey, so you pass, passing the bags, man. Oh, I, I got to keep it real because I ain't going to lie, man. Oh, man. It's just a whole... <laughs> It's a whole new. It's Look at a, me, I'm ready. Hey, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a it's a whole new wave. I'm happy because I know what's going on right now. Shout out hey. to him. It's new hey. to me. It's new to me. Everybody, I'll be the one giving people gifts. Into my homeboy clothing line, man. Hey, this 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 mission. You, hey, this yours. This me. This me. You gotta you gotta show. We gotta show. This yours right here. Oh damn, appreciate it. man. Hey, y'all boy, put that shit on right now. Why y'all interviewing me, dog? Hey, wear that shit right now. Why y'all interviewing me, man? Put it on. We should have did this in the beginning, right here. Nah, man. I just want man, nothing but respect, man. Hold, hold up. I just, I'm, I'm just gonna say it just like this one time, man. I just feel like it gotta be some more. It gotta be more love going around this motherfucker, man. Too much hate going on. Yeah, it gotta be way more love. Too much hate going on, though. For real, it ain't been no bloodshed. I ain't know nothing, man. Hey, niggas gotta come together, man. Change this shit, man. Yeah, we gotta get into how this humble hustler brand came along. Hey, it came along. It, it, it came along. Y'all boys put that bitch on, man. Yeah, man. Hey, respect. Everybody, y'all gonna get y'all some merch, man. Mine a little bigger, but hey, y'all see what's going on. What size is that? They got large. I thought the nigga was bigger than that on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, hey. Nah, nah. Hey, you know what you do, dog? You, you get, hey, you, get, you let, let the girl wear it to bed, man. Yeah. Hey, you know the, hey, the girls, she, the girls wear like lingerie. Though. The girls wear lingerie. Out to the clubs now. Tell her put a Hummer Hustle t-shirt on. Thanks. No panties. I like this. <laughs> and it's big on her too. Yeah, we vibing, man. I like that. I like that. Humble Hustle. Shout out. Yeah. Hey, it should look good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. We lit, man. Yes, sir, man. So, like, we, me and him talked for like an hour off camera earlier, but like, we kind of got into like where the brand name came from and like the meaning behind it. You want to tell us about how you how you thought of this idea? Man, it been, I ain't go out. Like, started taking this serious about like, Two years ago, I've been had this going on. Ben started it, didn't know the logo, all type of stuff, but more so like, damn, what shit going up right now? More so like, just, just like everything I've been going through at like an early age, and now it's more so everybody want to be it. Everybody want to be the same way, from the females to the dudes. It's either dudes want to flex and show off what they got there, but. It's all about clout. And, and, and it's all about clout, but I'm not going to lie. I'm speaking for experience. I used to do that. 
Like, I used to want to be the one. We all, everybody I was with, we wanted to be, yeah, it's us. We got money. We doing this. We doing that. Not knowing it, that shit attracting like nothing but negative energy. Definitely. And I wonder why shit go down like, damn, why do you act like this, dog? Why are you doing this? That shit attract nothing but the negative shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, dog, I used to, I don't know y'all remember, they closed it down now, but it's karma. Yeah. Man, yeah, we used yeah, to go yeah. to karma, dog. I ain't gonna lie. One night, I ain't gonna lie. Had $1,500 on me. <laughs> Got threw that bitch. dollars in ones and threw that bitch. Dang. And I ain't gonna lie, you know, but, but hey. I'm it feels you, good when you're throwing it. It feels good when you're throwing it, but I only threw it just to shit on some niggas in there that I did not like. The next day, you was like, fuck. And I felt dude. like, bro, like, I didn't get no girls. Mm. Not because I couldn't. I wasn't worried about that. You I was, was too worried, worried about, about flexing. Shitting and flexing yeah. on these boys, but that made me more so look at it like, bro, no matter what, you gotta be humble. You can't never. Laugh at people about their situation off. Treat motherfuckers like you better than them because that shit could happen to you. Facts. That's real. No, I That's sat there, real. not more so because I ran out of money, because I sat there like, what did I gain from throwing money on some dudes that I don't like? Like, what am I trying to prove? So like, I'm like, damn, bro, nigga, I be humble about this shit. Nigga, you gonna get money, man. You gotta motivate everybody else to like, you get money, you take care of your family. That's gangster, you know? Don't get lost in the sauce. You know sauce. what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, you get money, you do the right thing, invest with your shit. And I wasn't doing it. I was blowing my money. Because I was the type of person, I could get money any day till that money starts slowing down. Yeah, you got Boy, one. that money ain't coming in, how it's I, coming you in. You got a bad week. So I'm like, shit. damn, boy. I just did this. Nah, I just doing this. Nah, nigga. You had to really, had to humble myself up because I done been to zero and had to shake back. A lot of people can't do that. You don't pay the strippers I'm rent. What? Like, that I, needed like, it. Next well, a lot week. of people can't shake back from zero and still be themselves. Like, I done been at my lowest and I'm still me. That's how you know, like, man, I got to be humble because I could be in this situation just as bad as this person. I can't sit here and be like, yeah, we really getting money, but I'm not doing the right thing with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And every time you take an L, bro, you come back harder. I'm oh, you right. and I, got and to. They, they lessons now. Right. Shit, my L's is lessons. Back then, they was losses because shit, nigga, I was keep trying to get them back. <laughs> I was keep trying yeah. to get them back. You feel me? Yeah. They was losses yeah. I was trying to get them motherfuckers yeah. back. But now, so it's like, shit, now the lessons, nigga, it just let me know, okay, I know what to do to what not next to do. time around because yeah, hey, yeah. I just add this in my toolbox. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This going to my toolbox now, yeah. Like, this That's shit ain't going to stop. Like, now it's going to be lit because if you ain't with the wave, I salute you. I want the best for you. Just remember, don't come back over here acting like you know us and you wasn't here. Thanks. You was thinking it was That's competition. Funny. We, I don't want you to come back over. There ain't no beef. Ain't no doubling back. For real. That, that's a hundred, man. I know you spoke on um, taking care of your family. You know, I see you got a daughter, man. She's beautiful too, by the way. Yeah. Uh, like, how do you manage the time between the music and like you know spending time with your daughter and your family? Uh, really. Shit, it's a father, man. I signed up for that shit. Just being a dad, I, I, I you don't make time for that. That's something you gotta do. And once again, it's like, bro, like the music shit. I'm more, I want to get back into it. Mm-hmm. I just been worried about this money, making shit happen, changing everybody around me, making everybody life better. Shit, but priorities, man. priorities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it was like. Bro, it's just the fact that I know, like, when I had my daughter, that shit changed me and made me a man. Shout out to her mom because, shit, I was I was hell. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't a bad dude, but it's just that, man. I wasn't. You, you was, uh, I was wild. Immature, I was, bro. I immature, That's how I feel. You know? I was immature and I was childish, but more so, too, it's like, boy, like, what? My daughter made me who I am today, and I'm about to be 30 and amazing. Like, I got so much great things going for us right now. It's lit because... I'm making that little girl smile. She tell me I'm the best dad in the world. So it's right. like, ooh, shit. Even the days I that's, think that's I ain't tough. doing good, tough, she tell me that, I know I'm doing the right thing. That shit gives you good. something to live for, yeah. for it real. Gives you some, it gives you something to live for because, like... And to work for. My mom fought hard for that shit. You know what I'm saying? But she had to go to work. And my dad did a 20. And I, he went to jail when I was six. So it's like... I can't never think about my life being bad because shit... The cars I was dealt, but I wasn't supposed to be on the couch with y'all smiling and shit. I was supposed to be dead or in jail. I ain't gonna lie, just this the type of type of life I had growing up. And everybody probably think it wasn't hard, but man, just being like exposed to a lot of things and, and knowing a lot of things and being a grown up and like, but my mama did the best she can and she did good by us, you know what I'm saying? And it's more so, you know how sometimes like 
you'll go through a phase where, oh, you feel like, oh, you ain't, you, your mom ain't doing good like the other kids. Yeah. And you go through that bad phase. I went through that, boy. I, I was to give up all the hell in elementary school. Like, what? But what made me really change was football. And my mama told me, like, when people want to put your ass in rhythm, boy, you better calm your ass yeah. down. <laughs> hey, I'm like, what the fuck is that? She like, want to be in that bad class? I'm like, well, hell no, nah, that bad class full of dudes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going in there. <laughs> that bad class full of dudes. And if there's a girl in there, she a dude. <laughs> you know? And uh, so, respect, so that's where it came from, really. Hey, so, so going back a little bit, what you just said, you said your pops got locked up when you were six? Yeah, when I was six. Yeah, so Damn. what what did he get locked up for? Uh, oh, I don't really, If you can speak on it, if I you don't can. really, honestly, I ain't never sat down and even asked him what he got locked up for, but it's a bunch of stories. Stupid, bad mistakes, you know. But he got 24? 24, doing the wrong thing. Did he serve the full? I, it, full? Actually, I think he had to do more than that, but he did 20 and he came home. Nah. Like, yeah, six years old. How, shit. how old were you when he came home? Shit, I think like 25. Damn. Yeah, 25. Couldn't wait till you come home. I ain't gonna lie, and I will never forget that day because when he came home, I always said, like, when my dog come home, man, we gonna have the best bond in the world. I'm gonna get my dad some money. Mm-hmm. Growing up, I said, when my daddy come home, I'm gonna make sure I get my dad some bread. And boy, I wanna buy my mom a house. That was my main focus growing up. But when he came home, I was fucked up. Well, I ain't had nothing but $200 in my pocket. <laughs> and I gave a nigga $200, man. <laughs> and I was like, boy, I love you. <laughs> real. You hey. 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 I gave all the money in my pocket and shit the next day, shit. Man, I made more than $200 working, man. Doing the right thing, believing in myself. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I know you say I know you say you're trying to get back. Well, you just getting back into like really making music. Like, How long did you take a break? Shit. Uh, Sully, what that shit said? 2000 what? 18, I think. 18, is that right? when your daughter was born? That's when my daughter was born. All right, so you took a break from 18 to now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little setback. Now I know you about to go harder. See, but the All thing right. is, Motivation. he's got he's doing a lot of other shit. He kind of like switched his hustle into the merch and the parties and the fuck, yeah, the yeah, branding. He's building the brand. And honestly, I think when you have a kid, bro, sometimes you just got to sit back and experience a little bit of life. Like, like we were just talking about it again off camera, but like... You you almost you just experienced a whole lot of shit. You got a whole lot more shit, a whole lot of wisdom to speak on, and yeah, man, you reinvented almost. Like. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> hey, and you you said it. I'm more so, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just, it ain't even no cocky shit. Whoever I'm fucking with now, whoever on my team, bro, we about to go all the way to the top. And I ain't gonna lie, and this more so. This ain't shitting on people. This more so like letting motherfuckers know, like, hey, don't give up. You keep yeah, going. I was about to like you keep that. going. That's what that's more so on. Like, bro, the shit I done been through these last two years, the average man couldn't go through this. You know what I'm saying? So, and me to be here, that's why I know like shit about to get real. It's real because boy, I passed every test to where everything was sent to break me, and it almost yeah, broke me, bro. nigga. I, I, I broke. I stood up on my knees, and I got back on my feet, bro. And I was like, yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, shake that shit off. I'm good. Stronger than before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's more yeah, so like lessons. the knowledge I got from that shit and the amount of shit that I done accomplished already at the, from 15 years old, from jumping off the porch at 15 to 29, the amount of shit that I done accomplished without knowing what the fuck I was doing. Oh, man. It's all about hey, perspective, too, though, bro. Hey, like A lot of people in trouble, man. Glass people, half full or half A lot empty, of people in trouble, know? my dog. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. And it's more so personal because... I showed a lot of love to people, and a lot of people turned their back on me and shitted on me, you know? So that's why it's like more so like, yeah, it ain't no revenge, it ain't no right. beef or nothing. I'm going to kill everybody with success, you know? Right. And it's more yeah. so, yeah, remember you counted me out? Remember you was doing this? And Watch I don't this got, shit. I don't got to say it, and you I'm know, never going to say it. They, they, they know what they, know they did. Yeah, they know. Because a lot know. of conversations could have saved relationships, you know? Communication can save a relationship, you know, and a lot people of people don't know, how to don't know how to communicate. And instead of Absolutely. them not communicating, that shows a sign of like, damn, like, boy, I can't even trust you because no, you what you making no, big it ain't even that big. You can't even be around mm-hmm. somebody who can communicate. And if you can, if you and if you can stop fucking with me over some petty shit, it wasn't genuine from the beginning. Mm-hmm. It wasn't genuine know. from the beginning, and I had to learn that because there have been times That's where true. I was so mad at points where I wanted to do stuff to people, and I really had to tell myself like, nah, bro. Come here real quick, dog. Hey, it's all love, man. Yeah, hey, man. it ain't that don't serious. Don't worry about it. You don't know worry I mean? about it, but just don't do that again, bro. Mm-hmm. Listen, bro, you better than that. 
Mm-hmm. Sorry, it had to be me as an example. That type of nigga you know I am. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, now yeah. by me saying that, that got that just made all that energy get out of him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that made yeah, that shit yeah, like, yeah. Ooh, and that's shit. a real man move. There's no oh, tension. Oh shit, but I was yeah. tense, but I thought I had to knock him ass yeah, out or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Man, cause I know some niggas probably wouldn't think they man, man. It ain't going down like yeah. that, bro. Cause let me tell you something, bro. You a man and I'm a man. Mm-hmm. If ain't no bloodshed, holler at me. Yeah. And if you can't holler at me, stay away from me and watch this shit, my nigga. Yeah. You gotta watch this. Shit, that's that's, a, that's the problem these days. A lot of people and don't then, hey, have don't that mindset. No, I don't got no beef. I don't got no ops. And, and they I can't always watch it. And I always tell people this, bro. The reason I don't got that because, boy, I got a lot of people that love me. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. <laughs> it's like this right here, man. <laughs> I don't got no ops because I got a lot of people that to love the, me, the man. The days where we in, you can't even cut a motherfucker off with just cutting them off like with like these niggas. These niggas be on some weird shit. Like you want to cut a nigga off, a nigga want to beef with you. Yeah, like nigga want to take. Yeah, me make in, it like, like there's something like, 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 like I don't give a fuck, but you making like, it like it's beef. <laughs> yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like I've I been through it before. I done tried to cut somebody off, and they wanted to take it to another level of beefing with me. Like, Bishop, pull your mic a little closer. Like, yeah, damn, you want to beef with me just because I say I don't want to be your friend no more? I don't no, literally, like, bro, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real too. I'm gonna keep it real too, and I'm gonna be real from both perspectives. Like, I ain't been no perfect dude before. Like, I'm not no perfect dude. I would never say I did no fuck shit, but I done did some not see me, my lame shit is different from everybody else's lame shit. Cause niggas do some lame ass shit. Yeah, but me, yeah, when I say yeah. lame, I know better. Yeah. My shit different. I'm not on no like, oh, I'm doing lame shit and I know I'm doing lame shit and I know I shouldn't be in the place or I know I shouldn't talk to this nigga. I'm not on that. But I always tell niggas all the time, bro, it's cheaper to be yourself, bro. And own that's... up and take accountability of shit. And that's what I that's what I always tell niggas, bro. Don't don't Niggas gonna fuck up, bro. Yeah. And if a nigga don't, if a nigga in the wrong place at the wrong time, you 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 talk to a nigga like a man, or you got a problem with me, you holler at me. And people don't do that though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like I said, two all. more survivors. If I if I ever did some shit that's lame to somebody, but I, I could own up and hit you up like, bro, my back. I ain't mean to come off like that. And they be like, no, nah, I ain't think about it that way. But yeah, I understand where you are coming from. But by me letting them know, I know what I did was mm-hmm. wrong. Accountability, that, bro. that make me real. That yeah. make me like, you know, I can fuck that nigga because mm-hmm. that nigga, he, he know right he from wrong. He people did. got too he much pride, like, though, you know bro. Saying? I can yeah. fuck with him. Yeah. But you people don't want to do that, though. People man, don't want to do that because more so it's like, yeah, I know I said some lame shit about a nigga, but fuck that nigga because shit, he he don't, he don't like me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what? but it's also like a pride thing. Like, motherfuckers that, don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They feel like they soft yeah. if they admit they're nah, wrong. Nah, you not like, soft, man. You a man, and guess facts, what, boy? Yeah. Shit, whatever you did, that shit behind us. Cause guess what? You owe me your loyalty now, cause you played me. Mm-hmm. And nigga, you can't betray somebody that ain't ever betrayed you. And if I did something to harm you, or I did something to make you feel like I betrayed you. Holler at me like a man. Don't you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. it. And I will holler at you because dog, what nigga? I said I love you before, nigga. Hey, that shit don't just stop out of nowhere. Yeah. That don't, don't be like, oh, I love you when I'm fucking with you. No, I love you all the time. Mm-hmm. Even when I'm you know? mad at you. Even when I'm mad at you, Even bro. I just think, you know what? You. Fuck it, nigga. You my dog or you my bro, you my sis, you my girl. Yeah, hey, I love you. I ain't going to argue with you. Some people just ain't meant to be on the ride forever. And guess, that's why yeah, I said, too, though. Most of the time. drop their ass off. And they guess stop. what? And that's why I said, if it's genuine, that shit always come back. Mm-hmm. If it's genuine. Because I might got to leave you. But guess what? If it's genuine, you'll, you'll come back or we will merge back together. Yeah, but somehow, I'm, yeah. I'm so, I, 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 and this is where the I love you part come at. When I tell my dogs, I tell my girl, I tell my mom, I tell anybody that I actually love and I fuck with, and I say I love you, and we fall apart and I don't talk to you, dog, and we merge back together, that shit is genuine. And if, it, if, if we ain't merging back together, we ain't hollering at each other, it's some shit that you got in you that you don't, because yeah. it Facts. ain't me. Yeah. It ain't me. And the real ones, bro, when you do link human. back up. Everybody yeah. human. And when you yeah. do link back up, Man, though, it's, it's like, hard. it's like, you, it's, y'all was never like. It's hard. It's like, yeah, we back. Boy, yeah. Yeah, remember like, this? Like there was no break. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. the whole time, you know what you think? I could have did this differently. And whole now time. It's, whole it's, time. Whole time. But nah. Like you said, you're doing your YouTube thing. You're doing what you got going on. Man, we got to just keep uplifting each other, man. That's what it's about now. It's not about knocking your man down or knocking your brother down or knocking your girl down because they did something wrong. It's about and, lifting them and, up. Yeah, lifting them up because that's right. the time where the people need you. If I know I fucked up, I ain't going to lie. I know I'm wrong, but I'm out to spaz on you. You keep fucking playing with me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, already said, hey, I already said I apologize. I take accountability for it. But if you keep da 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 poking at it. Now I'm about to let you know. Like, yeah. right, come on. I man. think so many people, though, are afraid to see like someone else do better than them. I can't, man. Like, hey, if I know you, that means shit. It's getting close to me then. Word. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be a part of the puzzle. puzzle. Hater, man. Hey. One thing I hate is a hater. I can't stand a bitch that hate or nigga that hate somebody that just like why it's a lot I hate. Of them. Yeah, I'm about to say, you got a lot of support, man. I ain't gonna lie. I support everybody that got something going on if it's positive. I don't support no negative shit now. No cap. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, though. Shit, show real. I had to learn all that shit because it used to be, man, fuck them niggas. Man, I don't like them. Fuck For them no people. reason. But it's more so because, like, what? Because they doing good? And I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn. Me stepping back and looking at it. But I was a hating ass nigga at one point too. And one rotten apple could, that, could, could and I one feel like I was more so I was more home. so mad because like man, even though I might think they lame, just because they doing that, that don't mean oh yeah, I'm whack because I ain't doing it, man. Mm-hmm. Salute to y'all boys. That make, that motivate me to go harder. It ain't my time yet. My shit about to be bigger. Yeah, and it's different know? lanes for everybody, man. Man, and you gotta learn that, bro. And, yeah. and, 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 and if you see something good, dog, and somebody doing good. Hey man, congratulations, man. Yeah, Even if it don't yeah. got nothing to do with me that I'm supporting it. And another thing, if you see somebody doing good at something, guess what? You can do that same shit, man. man listen, you can yeah. do the same thing and do good. Thanks. Nah, niggas, niggas want to talk. Hey, now they want, man, I hope Bishop Cameron break, boy. I, <laughs> hey, boy, I ain't gonna lie, boy. I hope he ain't go to jail. Hey, for real, for real. Brain on your hey, downfall, bro. Real, I want to get boy, back into lie. it. Man, nobody like them ugly ass shirts. Talk to us about the journey. Do. Talk to us about the journey with the clothes, man. Nah, man. Like I said, too, it is, that shit, like, back to that, man. Humble Hustle, man, it was a perfect time to come out. Because it's like, man, the time I was going through what I was going through, I had to bring it out because, like, damn, boy, shit humbled me, boy. And bro, to be and real, I, I, even I'm before the be name, a hustler regardless. Even yeah. before the name, though, you had a brand. It yeah. just didn't have a name. Like, yeah, you know this kind of just put a name yeah. on your brand. Like you yeah. already were known. Yeah, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, but really got, and I'm gonna keep it one hundred. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna sugarcoat because almost these my brothers, mm. man. My dog they used to call himself BCGM, man. Hmm. They just call themselves BCGM. Those are my brothers, and I'm BCGM for life. I'm down. That's like boys. your team with the music. That was like my team with the music. That's what we was doing. What that mean? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I mean so much things. Uh-huh. Boss on. click jungle music. Boss click get money. That we was young, man, like 15 years old, young doing it. I was 15. And these are my older cousins. They older than me. Okay. Like, so was, you had damn near the whole island on the team. All of Not, us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, ain't gonna lie, I feel like everybody was coming to our videos. Yeah. Everybody fuck with us. Like, we were just doing this shit out of fun. And then the merch came through. We had the BCGM merch. Mm-hmm. Shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie. If you could pull that shit up, it's a video on there called Mama With My Dogs. Like, it's called Mama With My Dogs, man. Uh, Boss Click Jungle Music. We did that shit at, what, like 2000 and 2013. 20,000 views. Okay. And again, this that's is like right. right when music is starting to like it's, take it's off. So like, fun. Like, like, well, it is the merch. Yeah. Like, that's a yeah, I graduated. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was that was like that was the merch. So it was like, ahead of its time for sure. It was, and I ain't gonna lie. And y'all had so y'all like really do got like a couple fucking hits, hits, and some like some fire artists, bro. Nah, all them boys is hard. Like Nico, who I was in the group. We got Nico. We got Nico. We got Kyrie. We got Little Raw, Stefan, Tony, my cousin Chaplin Tone, Tall Head. And, and shit's so it's, crazy. It's fully fool, yeah. but see, fool is like you got fool shop, and that's what was the BCGM. Them boys just hang around us and all, but they are older, older cousins. They had their own thing going on, like Gunboy Gangsters. You know, that even was, before there was a music that was, scene, they, though, that, was, that was their own thing. You know, P Money, bro, but P Money whole... and all that shit. But yeah. that was their own thing. But we really learned that kind of from them too with the music because, like, it's man, my family just full of hustlers. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like all the way down from my family to South Carolina, to Miami, my family is full of natural born hustlers, like thriving to get money and want to do like just want to better their life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's everybody that's in my family. You feel what I'm saying? It's in your blood. In my blood. It's in my blood, and that's more so like we seen these boys rapping and everything, P money, food shop, you know. And then we started doing our thing, mm-hmm. and you know them boys got older, so they didn't. They kind of like broke apart and stopped rapping, and mm-hmm. we started doing our thing over again. And that's when them boys like. Saluted us like, damn, these niggas hard. Like, I remember man. being in high school and having a P Money CD, bro. All right, hey, and remember that man? It was crazy. No rubbers. Yeah, <laughs> bro. When Wayne had the no ceilings, bro. Yeah, hey, the man, no rubbers. Salute to everybody, man. It's so much people to name, but that's that's my section right there, man. Chaplin, my section, and like I said too, 
I ain't gonna fake it. I was born in Spanish Wells. Then I moved to Chapman. So then when I moved to Chapman, I'm like, damn, boy. I get love in Spanish Wells. I get love in goddamn Chapman. My grandma right here. My mom, like my mom's from, uh, my mom, dad is from Spanish Wells. Let's be real, you get love yeah. from everywhere, bro. Everywhere. I'm being, I'm just saying where I came from, like, nigga, growing up in Spanish Wells, then growing up in Chapman is like, Elevation, you know. Bro, what I'm used saying? to be with the Christian Academy. Oh, uh, everybody, you had everybody, fucking, you know, had Brett people, <laughs> the all of them. And that's where it came from too. Like, Damn. just to know, like, boys love everywhere, and it ain't no like. And that's where. It oh, came my bad from cousin coming around. You know, like, this nigga cool with everybody. Like, literally, bro, hey, bro, it's bro, more bro, cool. Bro, how and can I, you not fuck with him? I'm if you you're in the business he's in, you gotta be. I yeah, feel like, like this though, I just accept people for who they is, and I had to learn that early because I got. I ain't gonna say the name. I got shitted on early, like. I used to have to beg motherfuckers for rides. I got dressed one time to go to the party. My ride ain't never picked me up, but I see my ride on a camera drunk, passed out. Mm -hmm. You ain't text me and you left me. That was your karma right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I end up not going to the party. I was blow, but come to find out, people went to jail that night. And I was like, hey, God is good. You know what I'm saying? At a young age already, that's what I'm like, man. Lessons. Look at it. Lessons. That's a sign. That's you a know sign, what I'm definitely. Yeah. Hey, before we get any deeper into this, we're going to cut to Real Talk with Bishop, and we'll be right back. All right, yo, 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 you know what the fuck going on, man. Playboy Bishop, man, we back with another one, man. We here with Real Talk. Who I'm here with today, though? Man, you here with your boy, Quelio Smellio, man, from the Pope. You know what the fuck going on. So I got a few questions for you, Quelio Smellio, from the Pope. All right, first question is... Do you go through your girl phone or have you ever go through your girl phone before? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And when I and what I seen was so crazy because when I seen it, I already knew what was going on. When when and the shit that I seen on her phone was so funny because Gus was trying her. Yeah. Yeah, man. That shit brightened up my day. Did so she yeah, she man. she went for it or Nah, what was so crazy? She was asleep. Her phone was in front of me. So I grabbed that bitch and went to I said, no, and played it off like it was cool, and did when she left. Yeah, yeah. It's another bitch house. Real P shit. Oh, yeah. Pushing P. Pushing P. All right, all right, all right, all right. Second question, second question. Who you think lied more, men or women? Women, they good at it. They good at it? Sit down. Yeah. I, I, I ain't even gonna go against that. I ain't even gonna go against that. Crazy question. Have you ever smashed a female and you had the condom on you, in your pocket, wherever? You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> really prepared just in case if she was like, oh, you got a condom? Yeah, but you was like, fuck that condom, though. Hey, if it's right, I'm Sushi Gang. Hey, Sushi Gang, Sushi Boys. Shout out to Sushi Gang, everybody out there. Hey, don't fuck everything, but everything you do fuck, hit it raw. You know what I'm talking about? But just don't hit everything. You know what I'm talking about? Hit it. Um, all right, man. What's a turn off from a female? Damn, boy, that's hot. Her mindset. Mindset? Mindset, for real, for real. Because some, you got some bitches who really be fine, be pretty, but they be dumb. They say we can't read, but shit, you need to ask this bitch right here, hey, read this sentence right here. Read this paragraph. Let me see if you can read. Yeah. We don't test bitches, but they test us. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Hey, facts, man. Stop. Hey, when you run down on a pretty girl, hit her with some mindset shit, some knowledge shit, man. See what she on for real. Don't just see a pretty face in a, in a fat ass and go crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Next question. What's a turn on? What's a turn on? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. I ain't got no turn on. I, I got everything, anything. A bitch, whatever a bitch do. Some, give me one. Give sometimes, me, give me one. All right. You know how, you know how, with them little spandex, them little tight little shorts? Yeah. Just on some random shit. Nigga might be in the kitchen. Yeah. And then nigga just might see that. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I don't know. Just like, oh, yeah. Come on, bitch. I'm about to tear your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Real, I appreciate the interview, man. Tap in, man. This is real talk, man. You got Playboy Bishop, man. You got your boy Quelly, yo, smelly, yo, man. Straight from the Pope, man. Pope life or no life, nigga. Now, nah, time out. Tap in, nigga. It's Playboy Bishop, man. We back in here, man, from Real Talk. We got 
Heem in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Sully in here. Yep. And we got PG-13 yes, in the cut. Let's yes, go, man. Sir. We yes, back sir. in here, though, man. Let's get back into it. Let's talk about the merch, though, man. Like, what all, what all type of clothes you be selling and everything like man, that? Man, uh, I was just doing, honestly, I, I was just doing T-shirts. T-shirts and hats. Just to start off, just to get the buzz going now. Oh, the hat's a new edition? Yeah, uh, this hat right here is a new edition. That shit look custom. That's it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's 10 out of 10 right there. That's the a 10 out of 10. With the, uh, it's the Louis V collab. Yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the, <laughs> the Hummer Hustler and Louis V collab. Man. Hell yeah. Shit, hey, but, you know, uh, got the hats. How much for a hat like that? I ain't gonna lie. This hat exclusive. This hat gonna be $40 for a hat. That's, that's, that's dope. That ain't I was bad, thinking, though, I was thinking that 45 ain't Hey, touch the hat, man. Touch the hat. I, I, I was thinking 45 to be I honest. How soft that is. Yeah, yeah, this shit is fucking Australian man. kangaroo. Yeah, 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 for yeah, 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 check a boy. Yeah, that's real check a boy right there. This your, uh, just that kango fabric from your uncle closet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But. I'm fucking uh, with it. Man, right now I'm work I got I got shorts for females I've been wow. working on right now. Mm. And then I'm working on bathing suits and then I'm working on a bunch of beach gear. Get yourself like, perfect you know time, bro. And then I got the visors coming out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, dude, yeah. I literally on the yeah. way here today, I was like, yo, somebody needs to bring back the visors. I'm bringing back the mm. visors and I got the buggers hat for the summer edition and like it's bro, tough. it's That's lit. Tough. And I'm working on like a new logo where it's still going to be the humble hustler, but it's gonna be more the dove, like a new design. It's gonna be like the dove. Okay. Hell yeah! You know, not not like taking the money, but flying away with the money. Okay, yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm put them on polo wait, horses. With the, oh. with the summer edition, you gonna have like different colors. Or? Oh, different colors. This is okay. just you know, yeah. it was cold outside, so I was like, let me yeah. get that boy these long sleeves. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate those, it, man. Those Facts, man. You got the summer. Everybody, you got hey, the summer gear these, coming. These was made uh, by my boy, man, Teray, man. Shout out to hey, Ray. Shout out to Ray, man. That's hard you give us long sleeve because everybody oh, yeah. always selling short sleeves. Yeah. You know, you know hey, what I'm saying? You don't get Ray, man. Man. Yeah. That's hard, though. I, I, I can't wait to see the, what the summer edition look like. It's going to be lit, man. I, feel, I, I, I ain't going to lie. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, you was out there. That shit made me feel good. Yeah. I ain't gonna hey, you got everybody, some green in there, everybody too. Everybody was yeah, running around. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day, Saint that Patrick's shit made wrong, me man. feel great because... Yeah. Seeing everybody wear that shit. Oh, I see a lot of people rocking this shit, bro. And, yeah, and I see, supporting I it on lot. social media. I see a lot a lot of people supporting it, a lot of people buying it. But when I seen it like actually all at one time at St. Patrick's Day, that's in person. Like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro? Hey, I had to success. take a step back and be like, ooh. So what are your what are your like plans for the brand? Like do you how big do you want to take it? Like I, I want this shit to be for a lifetime. Like I just want I want it to be so tough to wear like this is like a collectible. Like on some supreme like, like fucking this forty. Hey, right now I know shit. some people are like man, I ain't buying that damn hat for forty dollars, but I guarantee you buy this hat for forty dollars. This shit gonna be worth something. Bro, yeah. forty dollars for yeah. a hat is yeah. like that's it, it, a it's regular, gonna be more man. so. It's gonna be worth man. This shit prices because it's something that I created and it's like damn boy. Remember this hat? Mm. Are you doing like limited? Prints like yeah. you only print like one back. batch and it's like limited edition. Oh, yeah, I ain't like, coming back out with this. Know. Like this hat right here. Like once I can't find these no more, it's a, it's a wrap. That's hard because in a couple of years, if you see somebody in that shit, you are gonna know they've been Man, rocking with you lie. for a I don't minute. Think it, I don't think it's never gonna stop. It's gonna get better and better. It might be a little few breaks to figure out what you know fashion change and shit. You know? Facts. And I ain't gonna lie. I used to match, but I, I I used to match. I ain't even know how to dress. I used to match. You know, yeah. red shirt. Red shoes. Red now hat. mix matches in. But now it's like, man, I know a little fashion. I like to dress. I like to look good. I like to put that shit on, you know. Yeah. And, and and some days like I like I like to be casual. And some days like, damn, that nigga got that in his closet. You know. I feel you. Yeah. And some days yeah, I ain't gonna I put lie. That shit on, so I definitely feel you. My 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 tacky clothes. I call it my work clothes. Cause I do pressure washing and jump removal on the side and stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So those like my everyday clothes, like. And that shit still like I don't be trying. I be putting on mismatch shit, but Dang. it's like to learn how to really like graduate levels of fashion and how to put shit on and people are like that shit. I got an interest in that because I like started seeing different shit. Like this checkerboard shit, I only did it one time. Cause I'm like, I don't think nobody gonna like that. I had this on that parade. Well, I need the hat. Well, hmm. I buy the hat off you. Bro, it's because the different shit. I, I, is what's I'm, I'm in saying, right now. I, I, I ain't right, even right. put no price on it. I said forty dollars to somebody at the parade. I got 50 right now. I said, bro, I can't do that. So a light bulb went off. Man, go buy all these hats they got right now. And they only got a little bit left, and I, I got to go buy some more tomorrow. What you need to do is number them. Like, put a tag with one of 100. Yeah, that'd be late. I think Limited I, uh, edition. That'd be hard. Up the value. That'd be, that'd be hard. Yeah, it's, it's, 
I, I, I fuck with it because it's a lot of people that I didn't expect to wear this shit. You know what I'm saying? Not more so like because they don't fuck with it, more so because I just didn't think they would like it. Right. Now that I'm like, damn, you motherfuckers, dog. Everybody ain't mama like this. Hey, they might see, they see in the vision a little right. bit, bro. I go to Kenny B's, the, uh, the lady that, uh, she, that uh, from Kenny B's is telling me, like, I like that hat. I like that shirt. I see a lot of people wearing that. Hmm. But no one says nothing about it. I'm like, she, she likes, are you the owner? I say, yes, I'm the owner. She goes, that's dope. I want one. That's, Dang, that's, 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 that's right so there. crazy. I know that's, that's a good right? feeling. Though. I used to play football with her son, man. These are some great people. And when I said my name, she's like, oh, my God, Raheem, that's you? I'm like, oh shit, yes, it's me, and I'm doing something actually positive, so that shit felt good. That's yeah. a, that's one like, of the you things. You didn't even know that here. was me, you know what I'm saying? But that's me. Yeah. So when Word they of see mouth that, goes a like, long yeah. way around here, bro. So when they see it, like, oh shit, that's Raheem clothing line, you know, that's Raheem shit, you know. So, so it's cool. So how are you doing most of your sales though? Are they like in person? Or it's, you have I'm a not store gonna lie. Online, I gotta stop bullshitting. I gotta. I'm telling this to all my people that have been shopping with me. It's more so. I, it's I can't meet up with people. I'll be so busy. But people who like to send their money ahead of time. But I always uh, make sure I you get be my, mailing shit. Yeah, I be mailing shit off. But right now, I think I just gotta go ahead and go do it or go get the website. You need that. Yeah, yeah. I need the yeah. website. website. I need, I need, I need the, the website, website because man. it's so much love. Because it's like I feel like I'm short. I'm short. I'm short stopping myself. Facts. So, in a way, yeah. yeah I'm short way, stopping yeah. myself, like bro, like. And the website makes you worldwide. It, it makes bro. you worldwide, and it makes people that I can't drive all the way to Wayhampton to give you a shirt, but you need it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I need it by Friday. I to ordered make it on a couple Monday, bucks, you know what like saying? I'm about to drive out. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, man, I need to do that for my people, man. People love this, and I got to spread it out more. And it is and me so. like it's the beginning phase of me getting into the clothing. So it's like that's one of the things that I want to work on, getting people their stuff on time and like letting Being it go. Efficient. Like this is my dog. How, how long you asked me for a shirt? Be real. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Since uh since the Charlotte trip, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was so a long, I was time. trying to rock it for the YouTube door and support my and, dog. And that's, so, yeah, I'm so that's busy. a real thing I was trying to do. I yeah. wasn't just trying to get it just to get it. I was trying right. to, yeah, put yeah. that bitch on my YouTube. That's, and, that's yeah. real support. That's yeah. real. You feel me? Because I fuck with bro. So, and bro, I, once I, you I get the website, it, I think, like, bro, it'd be, it'd be a less of a headache. Get it, I'm though. calling it right now. That shit's going to take off. Hey, nah, and guess what, man? When it take off, it's going. It's not going to be more so, like, Oh man, this is it. No, we're gonna keep going, keep going. I want I want it to be around for a long time, you know? Excellent. And and I wanna kinda all spring it to something else to keep the keep it going. Just like, expand the expand. brand. I have a daughter. Let me do throw something with her in there. That's my goal right there. Yeah. You know? Let's set up a photo shoot, man. I'm yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can do something. That'd be lit. Yeah. We set up a photo shoot. I, I, I Find even, us some I models even, and all. Yeah, you know I even modeled it myself. Yeah, I'm down with <laughs> that. I'm down with that. I, I, I definitely I definitely y'all see me. Yeah. Get all the tags, all the yeah, humble hustle, yeah. man. I, like I ain't gonna it. lie. I just like I feel like, man, that just you put that on, it, it you you humble, but that's a bold, that's a bold statement. It's a statement. Yeah. It's, it's a bold statement to call yourself. Yeah. Because like it takes a lot to be real, like and more so people think when you humble, you saw, but I ain't gonna lie. Don't get it twisted. I got an on and an off switch, but when you dealing with business and you want to better yourself, you want to sure. create generational wealth. Dog, you gotta stay focused. You gotta, got a real man, message you behind you gotta, it, you gotta, bro. You know, it got a real message. You gotta be around people that's either doing. I'm sorry to say it, but doing good or doing better than you, so you can learn. Yeah, you can't chill around people when you're the only good pe- person in the circle. You can't be the smartest that. person in the room. Because guess what? Nobody's telling you nothing. Everybody's just soaking yes, off man. of you. You become yes, stagnant. Yes, and you know? you're so cool it's like, yeah, you're a leader, at. but you're a leader around the wrong people. That's just right here. <laughs> but there's nothing driving you to do better because and, you're you're doing the best. And I'm saying yeah, that because I've been in I've been in there before. You know what I'm saying? I've been in that room like, damn, like, bro, like, what we doing? Like, yeah. And I, mean, I, I fuck with the message because it's like, bro, a lot of people do get their hands on like that first little bit of money, and then they get this like mindset, like, yo, let me let me act man, rich, let me blow money, let me show off, let me man, prove listen, this to and people. I'm a, but and you gotta stay humble, bro. I say, I'm saying that for everybody that don't want to say it, man. I'd have been broke a thousand times, man. Yeah. And that shit humbled the fuck out of me, man. Yeah. I done had a girl, like I said, bro, it's so real, all the way down, you done seen everybody change. A girl, your dogs, shit. Yeah, you go broke hey, and everyone's like, hey, oh. Everybody looking at you crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, only place you can go is your mama house. Like, mm-hmm. boy, like, you gotta like, that shit, that shit humbles you. That shit like make you be like, damn, bro. Like, I was here, but now it's like, oh, shit. Nah, hey. you can't look at it like, oh, it's the end of the world. You gotta look at it like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to be the best I can be because I, I already been there before be. without lack of knowledge. 
So now it's like, damn, I got everything I need now. So hey, that's why I came back down here to see what the fuck it feel like. So now when I'm when I'm up there, it, it, you, you ain't gonna you, forget you, when you, you were respect down. that yeah. shit. Thanks, you know what I'm thanks. saying? And then now your losses now ain't gonna never put you back at zero. Your losses now gonna be like. All right, tighten up. Instead yeah. of throwing 1500 yeah. at strippers, I'm going to save that for when hey, my daughter breaks real. her arm or like, some shit. What, like, <laughs> like, man, I'm glad I went through everything that I went through at an early age. Like, like you said on the phone when you called me about this interview, what you said, shit, I ain't like, your 20s, like, just figuring shit out. Facts yeah. up, bro. You know what I'm saying? People think, and like, it's, it's over and after It's your a 20s. slim chance, like, some 20-year-olds catch on. But a lot of people catch on in their late 30s, early 30s. But, like, now is, like, the time for you to be like, yeah, boy. Like, I know. Like, I already done been here. You know? Bro, Jay-Z said it, like, 20 years ago that the 30s are the new 20s, bro. It like, is. shit is different. Like, it, your I life is lie. just beginning. I got so oh, much blessings, man. man. Oh. Like, hey, <laughs> Jay-Z said the real. Man, it's, it's just, it's more life. Killer Mike just got a Grammy at 40. So like, what does that tell you, man? Boom! It's not too. It's man, never too late, bro. Yeah, it's never too late, man. And Jelly Roll, boy. Boom! Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Nigga was a. Uh, uh, he was a goddamn addict, fiend. Yeah. Everything, bro, and literally homeless. Everything, and look at him now, dog. Yeah. Dude, that, the that, only people who used to listen to Jelly Roll were too, like, though, you know, the only people who listened to Jelly Roll like a couple years ago were like, some some. You know, uh, backwoods like fucking man. I don't even know what the to people call that listen to Jerry Roll was the people that listened to Little White, man. <laughs> Remember Little White? Yeah, Little White was hard. Wait, it, little buddy from Atlanta. What's the uh, what's, what's his name? Little White. What's his name, man? I think it, that's buddy that fucked with Two Chains. I, I think it's a it's a white dude that rap. He had one hard ass song. It's like pills something. You know what I'm talking about? He was about? a blonde dude? Man, like, With braids? I think it was. I'm about to find That's Mulatto's shit. brother. You know that? Nah, I ain't I wow. swear. I don't think we're talking about the same person. <laughs> the dude I'm talking about was signed with 2 Chains. I met him one time. He's what? fucking Mulatto's <laughs> brother. I'm probably, hey, I'm about to throw it back. Y'all remember Little He got White? a song called Tilapia. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah. Is little, that him? Hey, it was Little White Oxycontin. This dude right here. Oh, yeah, I know him. If I try to tell you how I remember him from Jelly Roll, I'm about to play it for y'all, boys. <laughs> Low key, it was like Jelly Roll, and that that genre was like trailer trash, dude. Like white GDs that been to prison. Yeah, this like dude right that here. was his, their vibe. Y'all remember this? Beat? Don't get us copyrighted. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause I he, now he's yeah. like sober and he's like all positive. Like I've seen interviews where the movies, he like hates that song because he rapped about oxycotton. Yes, yes, and I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, oh, it, was, it was like viral. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so wait, let's go back a little bit to, you said you got into music, like, when you got in the studio with your homie, like, 15, 16, like, was anybody in your family, like, musically inclined or into music? What were your parents jamming when you were a kid? Like, uh, I ain't gonna lie. My parents, that, I, I, hey, man, I got some <laughs> gangster parents, man. Hey, shout out to your mom. Hey, She's my, the truth. Hey, my mom, hey, shout out to, we call her OG Ron, man. Mm. Shout out, I love that lady, man. More to life itself. That's a real one. Facts, though, bro. Yeah, and I feel like everybody running across my mom say, okay, this way he can get that shit. Facts, dude. <laughs> like, Facts. Like, yeah, for real, that's a real one. And But, man, like I say, too, shout out to my pops, too, but more so, like, the music we, they used to listen to, Trick Daddy. <laughs> so know? they was on hip-hop. They was on hip-hop, man. And there's was, was a lot of Trick Daddy, yeah. Jeezy. You know, uh, Jesus, no Master man, P, no. like it was that, like in the okay. 90s and shit, uh. you know, like there's a lot of that, but more mainly like hip hop. And was it like southern hip hop though? Because yeah, like, it was like down south hip hop, man, dirty south hip hop. That's man. fire because when you were a kid, it was probably so like New York, near X, and like real, like you know, yeah. and I ain't gonna lie though, that around the area, like it was probably like a little, my mom was probably BMX. You know, DMX was popping. Yeah, know? DMX was popping. That was like the only New York rapper yeah, I think we heard, really. To DMX. You know? Until I got older to know about New York, but it was DMX. Like, you know, like Biggie or like. I, man, I ain't gonna lie. We was, man. <laughs> no, hey, man. It was more of Project Pat, Master P, like really down south <laughs> yeah. music. Facts. Like Mac. You know, you got. Before got down C, south was really C, trending. C, C like murder that. and all that. Like, growing up off of stuff like that. Like, real down south, dirty stuff music. Mm. And Biggie, I don't know. I don't think I never heard Biggie until I got older. Damn. Mm. He was in a dirty stuff. Was your south. family like Biggie or Pac people? I'm not going to lie to you. Probably Pac, huh? Man. 
My family was goddamn Neither. trick daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Oh, uh, it's got. It was like South like, like, you know, Southern like, hip hop. Yeah, Southern hip hop. That's what it was. It was no, Outcast. Uh, yeah, that was like new generation. And that was on the radio for us. What roses really smell like boo boo. <laughs> That's it. But growing up as a little kid, little jit, yeah, we was on some dirty South shit. And it was more so a hip hop. It was more like talking about where we came from, though. Too though, you know. Those rappers were talking about the struggle, how I feel to have a single mom, and yeah. how I feel to do this. So we was relating to that shit. Mm-hmm. And those rappers back then was showing you, like, some of them boys were telling you how to make it out the hood. That was to, the first you know? generation of trap music, really. Yeah, bro. really, that's how I felt. They was, like, really, like, sh- telling you, like, this how you could get out of here. Now it's, like, switch- Before it was murder, murder, kill, yeah, kill. Yeah, now it's, like, switches, and yeah, yeah, yeah. we done kill your dad. Fake shit. Me. Like, mm-hmm. back then, man, man, bro, you can't play around like that. Man, I know, I know, I know which I know what your back to your business. I know you, uh, you you spend a lot of time with your business, and being that you just jumping back into the music scene, how often do you uh spend on music? Like, like how how often I, do you write? Uh, uh, I'm, in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the beginning phase again. Like, <clears throat> I think about music all the time. I write, I write a lot, mm-hmm. I write a lot, and I got a, I got a notepad that I walk around with, and I write a lot. You know, what I'm saying I write down all my thoughts. That's a new thing I started. Like my New Year's resolution was to write a lot, write down more, cause you know, like they say, I don't know how the percentage is, but I think it's like ninety percent of the things that you write down come true. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> we, Manifesting, we, we ain't we in quarter one, and I'm writing down a lot of stuff, and a lot of that stuff's coming true. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? First so, quarter with it. That's I'm, true though, yeah, bro. For you know sure. That's, so that's, I've been I've been tough. I've been writing a lot of music, like about my pain, about. How high be I am, all type of shit. But I've been writing that shit down, writing down goals, and I already done checked off a bunch of shit already. When's the last mm-hmm. time you were in the studio? I know it's been a minute. Well, it's been a long time. It's been a minute. I actually been in the mic, like actually been like talking on the microphone. Like, mm-hmm. It's been a long time, and I ain't gonna lie, I love that shit because when I first heard it, shit so real. I'm gonna keep it real because just say you know this, you, you tell them the truth. Yeah. But. I when I start, when I heard my voice in the studio, this when I was going to Sully House in the Crescent. My parents crew, man, bro. dog, and I don't know Sully to tell you, man. We used to, I used to drink so much damn lean. Mm. <laughs> About to my like, my voice was so raspy. Worse than this, that shit just sounded so hard on me. But the it's mic. Ha- yeah, facts. Still yeah. though, like, bro. Oh, you have a unique shit. voice, bro. I'm like, like God. Damn, boy, I'm I feel like it hard. don't matter what you say, it's gonna and sound hard. That's why it was but... so hard. Like, <laughs> shit, the boys are laughing at me because. Like, this nigga, he ain't really in this bitch rapping. Mm. But it was more so like, I ain't rapping. I'm just talking about some real shit. Just talking about shit that we actually was doing. <clears throat> and like, at, I, at that <laughs> point in time, bro, there was a lot of people, like, around you that were, like, experimenting with yeah. music like that. Yeah. They weren't, like, really in it deep, but they were like, let me try this out. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like a lot of people like, damn, let me try that shit out. And that's really why I did it around that time. Like, I feel like it was just popping and more so, like, we was talking about earlier. We ain't had that much social media. I feel like we had social media. I would have kept rapping. I feel like the stuff we was doing at that age, man. It was the beginning of the social media. The stuff age, we was doing at that right age, and we were even recording. Social media, like, that. oh man, it'd have been a wrap, man. Yeah. It'd have been a wrap. But social media wasn't as important. Like now, it's everything, bro. Yeah. Like then, it was like, okay, you could use this to your advantage, but like selling CDs at a gas station is still beneficial. <laughs> now that shit is like dead. Like so, so you you like you got uh you got a group or you like a solo artist? I feel like shit. I'm a solo artist, but shit. If I need goddamn Lil Wayne, Drake, anybody on the damn song, I get them boys on the song with the people I grew up with. Mm-hmm. Like, them boys so versatile. Like, he'll tell you, like, Kyrie, Nico, there's so much people, dog. Like, even people that's like, there's so much people that make music that I'm cool with. Like, mm-hmm. we got Vic, Quez, Q, Smalls. There's so much people to name that we all cool with. But, like, my. It's actual, almost a whole island it's, it's being a whole like that, bro. Like, I could find anybody that, like, boy, you sound good on this song type shit. Oh. And then, like, a couple people in Bluffton, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just more so, like. It's a player it's just, for every it's, position, it's, it's, bro. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's love. So it's like to dumb it down, like, man, it's a, it, it wouldn't even call it a group. It's a bunch of people that I fuck with. Like, a collective. That make some good music. But more so, like, with us, it was the BCGM until we, like, all had kids. We all. But split. y'all were all solo artists. Yeah, but, we, all, like, you and we just, all, like. It's like we made a couple of group songs. Yeah. But on some young money shit. On some young on some like cash oh, money so shit. Yeah, so you yeah. got multiple. Like we wanted to be cash yeah, money growing up. Artists. Like 
We wanted to be cash money growing up. Like, we used to argue, like, who was Lil Wayne. And they were hot boys with, like, hot twice boys. as many members. Like, like with, like, six of us, <laughs> eight of us. But uh, we was arguing, like, who was, who wanted, like, what? I want to be Juvenile. I want to be Lil Wayne. Like, mm-hmm. I want to be Turk BG, but shit. I always had to be Manny Fresh because I was the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was the hardest one, too. Hey, you know, he was still DJ, hard. Man, how long, how long it take you to write a song, though? I ain't gonna lie. Like, really, probably an hour. Okay. I'm talking about a whole song. Like, I feel like that's that's yeah. like a, yeah, that, a good. That's that's bad. Bad. That's no, I'm good talking about like a whole song. Like if I sit down, I could really like if I get in my zone. Like right now, we probably been for like an hour and thirty minutes. I have one song, a hook, and another verse. So I probably mm-hmm. had like two, really that's two songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you you always write or you ever been freestyler? I always everything I had wrote everything I recorded with you I wrote but more so I just. Memorize that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you wrote it, but memorized it. Like, man, I don't... All I gotta do is say the first bar, and I'm going. Mm. Is it saying like that when you get in the booth, though? Like, can you just yeah. go with one one take? So? I ain't gonna lie. I hate doing one take. I could do one take easy. Yeah. Because I know how to... I do the flow, and, you know, just trying to figure it out. But more so, I... Shit with us, the way we was growing up. Like I say, with my cousins and I, the way we was growing up. We used to rap in front of each other, you know? Yeah. And like, get with the flow. You was whack, boy. Boy, you trash, boy. <laughs> what the fuck you just, you know, like, like yeah, but I got tightened up, right. boy. Like, hey, at like, least they kept it real. And Yeah, it, yeah. All I say, man, girl, I love them boys, man. Growing up with them boys is tough love. Because we did some whack shit, the boys is on your ass. Yeah. But I know there's a couple dudes that, <laughs> a couple dudes on your team that are like older dudes, like, like previous generation dudes. Not necessarily like that far back, but yeah. like. Like they were on in the Jeezy Gucci like yeah, that, yeah. so they like were kind of on a different shit. Do you yeah. think they ever like didn't understand like that new sound? Like if when y'all were like, you know, y'all were a little bit like on on a newer wave. Did they ever like? Were they ever like, nah, man, that's not it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it real. Like I said, them boys ain't sugarcoating shit. It been songs to where it's like, boy, this shit so whack. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They gonna love it. Everybody else liked it. And like they, they'll tell them that shit whack, but you know they gonna love it. Mm. That's y'all. Like my dog, like I say, man, like this our big homie, man. Sixers always tell us, shit, man. People gonna like that. They gonna love y'all music regardless, just cause who y'all are, you know. And y'all, they, just by them knowing y'all, y'all actually saying shit y'all doing, they gonna fuck with y'all regardless, man. Just be y'all. Off he always tell us be yeah. y'all. Daddy. Like don't worry about what we think is whack, man. Be <clears> y'all. <throat> And that's why I always respect everybody that I, like, came up with. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's hard to find some genuine people like that because all my brothers, all them boys, like, they still here. Yeah. It's not no, oh, man, I don't fuck them boys no more. And, you know, a lot of niggas is like that. A lot of people are like that. They don't talk to people no more. But them boys still here. And it's so, more so as giving you good criticism at a young age, telling you, like, that's my brother because he could tell me right from wrong. Yeah, yeah. Nah, sure. you ain't about to let me drop no whack shit. Tell me this shit whack. But at a certain point, does Man. it does it become like, how much do you value other people's opinions over your own? Like, nah, is because, there a point where yeah. you're like, yo, I know this shit's fire. Like, they, maybe they, they don't see the vision. You know what I mean? I look at it like this. Man. I understand that part too, though. Yeah. I look at it like this, how this shit be on YouTube. Like, yeah. this shit can have a million views. Yeah, I don't give a fuck on y'all like it. Look, look what's going on. Yeah, I, hey man, I, I say like, man, you... I might ask you because I care. Yeah, but me, if I think that shit hard, man, I'm fucking with. And you. a lot of the biggest shit these days is like, at first everyone's like, yeah, that shit's whack, and then two weeks later, it's man. the biggest song yeah, yeah. in the fucking world. Prime, man. prime example, sexy red song when she said, "I'm looking for the hoochie daddies," and the dread has do it the best. Nigga, two years ago, I said, bro, this yeah. song about to be the banger. All day and this shit about the don't talk make, about Bishop's girl. Like, I'm about to say yeah. again, this shit, he, wait, he, no, he, man, he, this shit, this shit about the wrong, this man, shit about the make saying. every girl that's like this cool. She's the yeah. final boss of ratchet music. Bro. Like, like, I mean, <laughs> and then I'm not you know what I hate the most though. If, if I respect her, I respect her so much because she herself. But what I hate the most, though, what irks me the most. The girls that's not even like that and they turn into that. Yeah. No, but bro, you yeah, have the that, fucking that's whitest, that's whitest preppiest yeah, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Nah, how are you like that? My booty hoe, bro. Like, why are you like that? Now it's fuck niggas, a dog a nigga out, cheat on a nigga. Like, 
Because yeah, bitches I mean, love being hoes. Rat- they've been ratchet their whole life, but you know, like so they no. just got paper too now. But it's like first it was fucking... Nah, they've been like that, they've been yeah, like that. that. No, they've been like that. First it was Nicki Minaj, then it was Cardi, then it was fucking... That's what I'm getting at. If you was like that, that's cool. Sexy Red is... That's how she is. But I'm talking about the ones that... Trying to that be, ain't never ain't been like her trying, trying to act to like, that. like that. Yeah. yeah. In high school, you was not fucking nigga. And, oh, you ain't shit. Give me the money. No. But now man. they hoes. Yeah, you know, not we was not on that. that. Now you want to be yeah, magic. Shit, shit crazy. Hey, hey sexy red blew bitch. up off of that. You not about to blow up off of that. But also, she's like, following she's these bitch. bitches hero. Yeah, exactly though. Like follow the influence. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, she about like say shit. She got the balls to say exactly how the women the women really feel. You know what I'm saying? But bitches be older. Bitches be older than sexy red trying. I and that's their hero. Like bitch. Like you're older than this bitch, and you're looking up to her. Like, what yeah. are you doing? Like, I mean, I feel, I feel like, yeah, I feel like the daddy. women, the women running the game right now. To be honest, if you want to be real, the women running the rap game right now. It's like, uh, yeah, it's lie. like, it's like. You think Drake be, hit? It's just something. Yeah, about, I do. I do think Drake really hit. He ain't fuck. But Adrian, Adrian fuck, Ross man. hit. He would have blocked her. Adrian, Adrian hey, listen, Sully. Adrian Ross hit, and he no, paid for it. Yeah, Adrian but they came Ross. out and said that was fake. That was fake. She, who, 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 said it, who said it was fake? She said it was they fake. They both did. It was like a troll. Yeah, I guess they talked. Who talk. y'all talking about? I, 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 think, I think it was yeah. real. Bro, Probably because she got exposed for selling the puss. I think, yeah, that's that's why. It was it was really It was really real. It was really real, I believe. And they had to bring it back. Because she said Yeah, they didn't realize. Yeah. They didn't realize they were Telling the world that she sold the puss. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I believe hey, every word they I'm gonna say. keep it real with no, you. No, they did not do that. None of that shit, bro. Hey, if Drake hit, is this girl every, we're every talking truth, about? Every <laughs> truth coming a joke. So just think about that. No, hey, I'm just I'm thinking, thinking about, about the all truth, the hoes that been if, around Drake though. Like Ice Spice ain't gave up the puss, so he but blocked I'm gonna be her. Real with you. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. She young. That's different. just because if, if Drake did hit sexy red, sexy. It's Drake. It's Drake hit because sexy red. Drake was begging for that pussy. Sexy Red was in... Oh, Drake. Drake oh, don't got to beg for shit, first of all. Man. He just tell the bitch pull up and he's hit. The type of girl Sexy Red is, man, she ain't about to just be begging for Drake. Drake. Boy, she seems like mean, she been mean, around, What you mean boy. the type of girl she is? Man, look how she handle herself. Look how she talk. I mean... Like, they ain't, she ain't faking that. I got a cousin. She's letting that coochie breathe. She letting that coochie breathe, man. Man. Hey, yeah. can we stop talking about my shawty? <laughs> nah, hey, real, she, she reposted. I got you, a cousin like Sexy yeah, Red. Yeah, she, she hey, it. shout out to Playboy Bishop. Sexy Red just reposted him. Hey, hey we're manifesting shawty, it right bro. now. That's my shawty for hey. real. Like, yeah, yo, he about me. to, he yeah, about to. That's me. That's my girl. Like, I just say, word. I just say, she like one of those popular, rich. I ain't gonna call her a slut because she not got off that. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I don't know I what you want to call her. But some of these bitches, they don't. They're not. They make it cool to be hoes now. But they're not really. I at, love her. I as care. big a hoes as they're making they're it not, seem. Yeah, bro. yeah, they're not. They're not. They're not giving it to lie. everybody. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. That whole word getting played out, man. Ain't no more. You hoes right. You me. right though. Hey, you could be a hoe now. Just don't be no damn slut. It's a, it's a lot of it's a lot niggas. of prostitutes. You know what? You could be a hoe. You know I respect what? a hoe. Cause, Ta- hey, I respect a hoe. You if know you what? Be a hoe. You know be what? a hoe. Hey, back don't bro, don't, bro. don't 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 play don't play. <laughs> don't be a half ass hoe. Hey, that's all I'm saying. You gonna be a hoe? Be a hey, hoe. Y'all, hey, all that talking what shit about hoes. Hey, let her be a hoe. Hey, Sully, Sully, bluffed it, bluffed in the hill head. They got the most prostitutes. I see no. that. I saw that on what? What's the thing? Back page. Look at you. Long, a while hey, back. Bro. Check him out. He he about hey, I got. I got. I got. I got. I got to go back. Y'all, y'all got some pretty ones. It's not a while back. It wasn't a while back. back. Oh, it's it now. It's now. No, these bitches <laughs> being Hardyville, not Bluffville. Hey, they got to kill the blood to the hit head. They be at the motel. Hey, y'all got some. Hey, my dog was driving for that pussy. Hey, that's federal. We can't talk on that. No, the thing is. These bitches Hell aren't even out here. Boy, boy, y'all got some tough hoes hey. and blood to the head. <laughs> That's real though. Boy. But y'all got. I'm waiting. I'm waiting because I thought you about to say something like, boy. I ran into one at the bar. Boy, oh, the off of that no, well, we, we just got y'all regular hoes. We got regular bitches that sell pussy. That's yeah. But they're expensive over here. But what's expensive? That, that's you? back compared to Hatney. I don't know, had to like $50. 50 that's a... Bro, yeah. every bitch got 40. an OnlyFans <laughs> <laughs> and a fucking... Hell no, nah, bro. Yeah. I can't just be like, here, here you go. Oh yeah, 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 I was wildin', man. Hey, never really? pay for the never. You never like, pay for the pussy. We ain't got. What? I know, I know. You, you always never, pay for the never, pussy never, in one never, way or another. Keep it so real. Nah, nah, nah. Hey. Not even. Not even on no take it out to shop. I'm, I'm talking about, about to take, is your hey. forty was my ass. I need that. Like that, I ain't that about to even front with you, bro. I don't gotta pay for no pussy because I'm gonna buy a bottle. We gonna have a good time. We gonna do everything we need to do to the point that she she gonna she gonna say to herself like. I got to get some Like I said, you paying you for it either way. I mean, but said, I got to get some This nigga, this this nigga about, been cool. Good. This nigga ain't been thirsty. Like, I ain't about to do the most. You ain't give me no signs. Sometimes shit. 
I'd be yeah, cool yeah. with just getting fucked up and sliding. But it's to the point to where, nigga, dog, you got to be yourself. Yeah. I ain't about to sit here and be that's, like... That's not I ain't, ain't going to lie, bro. It been times when nigga done been on the phone be like, boy, what the fuck? How much is it? Man, I can't do that shit, bro. <laughs> and that's like being a young nigga, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But nah, man, I can't. I just can't. Yeah, one time when I was I like 17, lie. I told the bitch, pull up. <laughs> I, hey. I said I'm gonna I'm yeah. pay you this much. He pulled up. I was like, bye. Hey, I'm gonna tell you some G shit. I'm gonna tell you some G shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but I can't pay for pussy because man, growing up, man, you already know how niggas was growing up. If I put forty dollars in that dress and I ain't here, I'm taking my forty dollars back and dipping. Hmm. You feel know what I'm saying? And I want to be called this nigga a cheap ass nigga. Yeah. He played me. <clears throat> Bro, why am I paying for the pussy? Yeah, you want to give it to me? There's pussy on tap all yeah. day long. Hey, man. it is. <laughs> hey, pussy's on tap all day long. And now that I'm older, bruh, man, I'd rather jack my dick, man. No more gonna fuck it. Hey, fuck, fuck that. All you gonna do is get burned. No, I said I'd rather jack my dick right now that I'm older, man. These girls, <laughs> hey, these girls for everybody, unless. You find you a real solid one that's not for everybody, cause they might say these niggas for everybody, but dog, more so nowadays, bro. Yeah, them bitches. These niggas. girls is, boy, yeah. hey, you hey, gotta I, find hey, you a nice hey, cougar. I might, I might, I might be with somebody, but the whole time, boy, hey, boy, she got three, three, four niggas she talking to. <clears throat> that shit's scary. I agree, yeah, I agree, five. but hey, hey, real quick, we gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. That nigga Sally going stupid. Welcome back to Stay Up Late Night, a new kind of late night. We're here with Heem, Playboy Bishop, and PG-13. Salute. We've been chopping it up with Heem all night. I think we're getting ready to spin the block. Spin the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you are you prepared? Are you ready? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't eating no motherfucking hot sauce. Ah. You ready to eat a cockroach, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, Stoop already ate it. Stoop ate the big one. <laughs> he said it was tail. We got some more. We, we make got some, some room so you can spin the wheel. Did man. Did you look at the wheel at all? Was there yeah. anything on there that you'd like prefer to get or like? Nah, I spin that shit, man. Fuck it. Hey, Let's get it, bro. Energy. Give it a good like spin energy. though, because motherfuckers be. The wheel right behind your head. We want you to take a spin. Oh, oh, spin it like Kalini Circle. What was it? Prank call your mother from jail. Oh, that might actually be kind of fire. Hey, I ain't going to lie, but I can't do that, boy. Hey, you like, Mom, I, I, I just I, got arrested. I ain't going to lie, I already done did that, but my mama cursed my ass out. Yeah, I, you know. I, That's why I think who can you prank? Can you prank call your pops yeah, and tell him you're in jail? My dad? Would he be shitting up? Somebody gonna have a yeah, heart attack. Gonna have a heart attack. He'd be yeah, ready yeah. to whoop your ass. Nah, I ain't no whoop their ass. What? Hey, coming, be from, like, coming from a black home, be like, I think you wanna respit that one. I, the buddy in the car with me had a switch. Like, <laughs> <bro. laughs> that nigga Sally going stupid. <laughs> Candy cane challenge. Oh. Yeah, candy cane challenge. You got to turn around and get that shit against The candy cane challenge. Uh, they said he spin that shit hard one time for me, man. I'm vibing in the seat. I, uh, wait, I, uh, you want to do the candy cane challenge or should shit. we redo? Hey, bitch, you want me? He said I'm spinning. Third, spin. one, more, one more. The final I spin. The spider spin. spin. The but candy I want, cane challenge is on your tab, I want you But I want, spin it, I want you to yeah? spin it hard. Yeah, mm, yeah. Let's go. He said go I should spin it. I'll spin it. Fuck it. Nah, let his hands touch it. Let his hands touch it. It's his yeah, spin. Man, on, you pull man. your, you, you hey, you pull your own shot. He's you spin to, your he's own wheel. To stay in this <laughs> yeah, I feel comfortable, bro. <laughs> right, well, I got this. Okay. This right here. Yeah, we should. I, we need to think about that. That's a good one. Had me in fuck front it. Of he ain't come on with new shit. Come on. The motherfucking wheel of fortune that spin. Was a good spin. I still got a candy cane on deck though. Well, too bad. Oh, say cheese. Mm. Oh, uh, what's that? What's say cheese? Uh, it's a new one. That nigga Sally going stupid. <laughs> Yeah, 
bitch to the vibe Late night, yeah, we in the demon time huh. Fuck it with me, you my guy You know that we stay hella high Yeah, up on that guy, yeah, cause we stay Hey, welcome back, man, I'm here I'm about to spin the block, man, and do the ass. What is this called? Say Cheese Challenge. Hey. Let's hey, do it, man. Let's hey, do hey, it. Hey. This shit is. What's it say? Original worm snacks. Ooh. Cheddar cheese. Oh, yeah, I got it. What, are, what kind of worms are those? And that was from the Say Cheese. Pit. Hey, boy, listen, these real. Yeah. They are real. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I hope I don't throw up on this motherfucking mic. Bro, oh, everybody man. else who ate bugs ate flavorless bugs. So at least you got some. Oh, uh, pretty much. Hey, he some seasoning him, on. Hey, pretty much. He talking about something. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> They're a good source of protein, snap. bro. Boy, listen. Yeah, Do I they ate, stink or they smell like oh, some chips? Oh, oh, I'm gonna eat one of them, dog. I gotta put I'm gonna pass out. Boy. Give me to, water, boy. to test yeah. it out, or Not you got one? You how one? much I gotta eat? Hey, depends. Hey, look, look. What if they're good? Hey, hold on. Before before you eat this, I want to say this. Heem, heem, the boss, right? And we the employees. We got on his gear. I think we got to eat one, too. Whoa. Yeah, I think we got to eat one, too, yeah, Playboy. Yeah. Hey, yo, Bishop Playboy really don't want to eat Hey, yeah, matter of fact, y'all got to eat one because guess what, nigga? Hey, everybody get one. And we going to do this together because this yeah. shit right here crazy. We take, hey, we take shots together. Let's eat a word together. Hey, the only reason I'm doing it because I spend the block, man. I can't go out like that. I got to do yeah. it right We way. going up yeah. this year. Yeah. Man, shout this nigga out, got me about to eat a fucking word, shout out, man. Shout out to him, man, for hey. sure. Fuck, oh, man. Yeah. Hey, shit. He ta- hey, Sully, we going up, but shit, you about to eat one, too. Oh. Hey, let me get one. What's up? Grab one. Pass we all the eating bag. I haven't eaten all day. We all eating worms, man. We all eating worms. Are y'all eating one? I'm eating one, because I ain't going to lie. What if they taste good? You about to just eat, man. I ain't even get no food yet. What if they're like Pringles? Oh, this your first? This is what these french fries? I got eight. What? I think I pulled them shits on me. <laughs> hey, wait. Pass it back over here. You <laughs> grab one out pass there. Pass Oh, he. These he, look like. Uh, oh, yeah. Sully got to get one, too. I get one. I want to get two. Oh, yeah. Sully. Hey. 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 hey, that nigga from Wade Hampton. He big. Uh, <laughs> hey, for real. Have you ever oh, eaten man. a bug? I ain't going to lie. I ain't, ain't, ain't a roly poly. Whoa. Nigga, what? Literally, <laughs> Stoop said that on the on yeah, last week. Yeah, I ain't a roly poly. I ain't going to lie. Y'all wait ready, man? I need a wall. I need an agua. We got the water right Let's here. Chase brother. it with the deep eddies. Y'all ready? No. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get Ooh, my... Ooh, shit. Man. These were like raised to eat, though. So it's uh, like, they're on, not like... Is it was raised to eat? They're not... They're yeah, eating... Not nah, eat mine. Y'all waiting on y'all. I got right, two right, Let's go, man. One. On three? Y'all crunching them? Yeah, hey, on three, bro. We, we chewing it and everything. On three. Yeah, some more. Hey, one, two, three. Yeah, make sure I eat that shit. Eat it, please. That shit like a pork rind. Yeah, I don't even eat pork. That's why I don't like that shit, because... It's a worm rhyme. I ain't gonna lie, probably eat a bunch of them shit. shit bro, like I'll that. eat a bag of these shits, bro. That, that shit, shit is not bad at all. That shit tastes like a cigarette. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was nasty. That shit tastes like ruffles. Hey, so what the fuck roly polies taste like? Tastes like a sunflower seed uh, or something. something. Them shit tastes damn, like... Damn, that shit nasty. Damn, is it? Yeah. You think? I feel like... Right, you chew yours up? Hey, my my worm has something inside of it, bro. Tastes like a sunflower seed. Yeah, roly polies taste better than this. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I feel like a, I just hey, tasted cheddar. Hey, so let me bring you a roly poly to eat next time. We I come out here. Like a live you want some one. Some roly poly? Yeah, we can eat them live too. Oh, you uh, you eat them shits right now? Yeah, bro. Roly poly. Live is like, way it, worse. Is this like a normal thing in Hampton? No, you just eat roly polies. I do. I just eat it. I, used to, <laughs> I haven't uh, seen I a roly poly. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Hey. <laughs> they gonna lie. went extinct. Think, we ain't never ate no bug, but we done rolled up some grass. Bro, right? Yeah. Let's smoke it. Rolled up grass, but we ain't <laughs> eating Y'all bug. Y'all was bug. bad. That's the difference. You so never we, rolled up in like regular paper? I, yeah. Yeah. Man. I done rolled up in a Bible paper, the front no, page dang, of the Bible. Yeesh. Hey, they call that reading the word. Hey, uh, Do they? Whoa. Hey, Sully, hey, Sully you, got another, you got another cold one over there, or you done, ate, or you done drunk all the, uh, all the cold ones? A cold one? Yeah, beer. I don't have no beer. I got a beer. I got the deep eddies over by you. No, thank you. All right. I just take the uh, water. All right. All right. So, Heem, before we wrap this up, is there anything you want to tell the people? What you got coming soon? You know, what to look out for? Man, I got more merch dropping soon, man, for the summer. I'm going to drop some new songs, new music. Most definitely, I got. I'm gonna have the biggest thirty year birthday party ever. That no, dirty thirty. Hey, and no, I'm not gonna lie. This this is for like everybody who fuck with me, everybody who support me, everybody who had my back. Man, everybody just made me who I am. You know what I'm saying? From the time you met me to now, man, 
So it's like a celebration of life, nothing but good vibes, man. You, yeah, hey, man. you welcome too, man. I fuck with your spirit, dude. Appreciate You're a good you, dude. Man. Appreciate it. And mainly, I ain't gonna lie, man. Everybody gotta put God first, man, because if you don't believe in God, it's nothing wrong with that. But you need to figure out who He is, cause He real. I ain't gonna lie. Amen. He done helped me out of all type of situations that I ain't never thought I could get out of, you know. So I just had to say that. But most definitely, man, if you if you say you cool with me and you and you fuck with me. Y'all want to be at this 30th birthday party, man, July 26th. Be there at B-Square. Hey, it's going to be player, man. We got the red should, carpet out, man. You should get some projectors and play footage of all your previous parties. And it's all night. All night. All night. It's going to be, be a, hey, yeah, it's a celebration. Be it's a celebration of life. It's more so like these are going to be one of the parties that like you could let your hair down. Like You could be yourself. No smoking. I'm talking about grown and sexy. Like, Facts. It's high fashion. Be, it's going to be high fashion. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be lit, man. Yeah. No bullshit, nothing but good vibes. You good said, food. what is it, 26? Yeah, July 26, bro. Facts. Yeah, you a Leo, too. Leo, hey, yeah, I Leo. think Bishop yeah. is, too. Yeah, yeah. okay. Baby, big Leo. Yeah, man. <laughs> we in here. Yeah. Let's do it. You know, we could be stubborn at times, but we great people, man. Damn, I'm know. coming real clean, boy. You talking about throwing Ooh. It's going to be lit, man. It's nothing but love, man. I just appreciate everybody who fucked with me. Facts, facts. I get to throw on a suit. Yo, I'm going to be real. Like, the last 10 years, me and Heem's birthdays are, like, three days apart. Yeah. Every time I throw a party, he throws a party either the same same day or like within days of it. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like when we did Rage in the Woods, everyone was like, yeah, we're here, then we're see. going to him. Yeah, and, uh, I remember that shit and that shit hey, it, hey, it Sully, came out perfect. Sully, you could bring a crowd too, man, because that Rage, you had what, Not, about 2,000, 1,000 people? Me, me and him are due to fucking to collab on a party fast. We have yeah, to, man. Thanks, it's going to be lit, man. Facts. We do that, it'll be fun. Facts. And I think, man, it, it's not if we got to do that, man. Just so it's like, man, it's love for everybody. Everybody welcome, man, you know? And necessary too, man, Everybody gonna make it home safe. Everybody gonna have fun. It's all about a drama about free love. good time. A drama free zone, man. Yeah. You know, nobody don't got time for bullshit. Like, and I feel like if you on bullshit, stay your ass home. You not. I almost gotta say stay your ass home because you're not gonna be able to even get in, bro. Facts. Like we sensing that energy security from the door. Unlocked. And though before oh, the party, God. we praying like for a great night. We ain't. Worry about, oh, this is going to get shot up, man. Hey, shit happens, you know what I'm saying? Don't but, ask me if you can bring the nah, tool, Lee. we ain't doing none of that. Nothing but good vibes and great people, man. Like, you should be able to wake up in the morning and be like, boy, I had a good time last night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Time. A great time, and guess what? I want it to be so lit to where I don't even get to take pictures. And I got to ask everybody else to send me pictures. Yeah. Photographer on deck. Hey, yeah, I, was about, hey deck, I was about bro. to say, man. Y'all throw the up. party. I mean, it. let me make. Hey, let me come. I mean it with my camera. Yeah, I want, you got to be there. All night. That's what we doing. We lit. We, we might have to night. live stream this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we're going to live stream my 30th birthday party, man. It's a it's a player's ball. Great Gatsby theme, man. Hey, print out. It's I'm doing printouts, lit. everything. Hey, that's right what we're doing. Hey, we're going old I'm, school. I'm there. I'm lit. Hey, we're I'm lit with Guess what? Ten dollars for a, a picture. Yes, sir. We got a red car. Yes, we're gonna have everything. I'm selling mixtapes in the parking lot. Hey, we right. having this shit. Hey, we going back to I man. Did, I just did at that time. We going back man. to how I used to be when you used to go to parties with boy. Like yeah. Do house parties back in the day? Oh man. When motherfuckers would just beat each other up instead of shooting. All right. Hey, come on. Let's go outside. Fuck it. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Hey, before we wrap this up, I want to bring up one memory I got with him. Bro, you remember that night in Caligny Plaza when we had like a battle royale? Yeah. It was like thirty. It was like thirty Hilton Head dudes against yeah. thirty Bluffton dudes. Well, the cops not. pulled up in Durango's. You remember that? But that shit was scary. Not a lot of people. You were fighting some. Uh, <laughs> Anthony, I don't want to drop the names. Hey, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? You remember that? Oh, I remember that shit. Bro, I remember <laughs> that shit. We were beating each other's asses in the Caligny Plaza. Hey, that shit crazy. We, it, it, man, listen, we grew up, man. Hey, we're some young and wild. Some of us. Sully, was you team Bluffton or Hillhead? I was yeah, Bluffton. I was from Bluffton. You Bluffton, okay. Hey, it's okay. I don't okay. know how this shit happened. This shit like some TV shit, bro. Bro, I had a dyke homegirl out there fighting dudes. Hey, like, we were all up hey, frosty frog. Give me the dyke. I want the dyke. Y'all can fight. I want the dyke. Hey, this man right here. Hey, <laughs> nah. This hey, man right here. Thrown, nah, I would, I would hit Shout it, out, boy. I would, I would. <laughs> hey. Hey, this nigga funny. Wait, hold on. I'm in my phone. Hey, I would die. Give me the dyke. I'm going to knock her ass out. God damn, bro. I want the easy. Hey, get Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, he, my one hey, easy way hey, out. Hey, guess what? That I want hey, easy way him out. Hey, that hey, hey, he the one. Hey, he the one we talking about after <laughs> oh the fight god. over. Oh my god, that shit was that. legendary, bro. It was like dazed and confused, <laughs> the, like dog, the fights hey, in that. If the dyke knocked me out, I'm boy. I'm, hey, I'm he the one we shit. talking about <laughs> when the fight over, like, bro. I know you ain't just hit that dyke in the no, face. No, if bro. that dyke knocked me out, I'm up now, though. No, bro, like, we was at a beach water. house. We was at a beach house, and a couple of bluffing dudes like <laughs> walked up to the beach house. We're in the hot tub and shit. They're like, yo, we just got jumped by some Hilton Head boys. <laughs> we all on foot, Dang. like barefoot, run to Kalini Plaza and just proceed to brawl. 
And then, like, the Durangos pulled up, and everybody just ran different directions. Hey, bro. niggas were scared of their life, boy. Facts. Because, like, boy, I don't got no car, and people I rode with split up from me, bro. I was barefoot running through them pebbly ass sidewalks. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yeah. Shit, so real. I think I rode home with uh, some bluffing people, bro. Damn. Bro, that was the beginning of the beef being squashed right there, bro. I think my boy, he had a uh, plan the whole hey, time. Was like Ryan Solomon, man. Solomon, that's who fucking brought us to the fight. Hey, Him and hey, Brennan. Damn, yeah, he right, left with yeah, Shout out to them boys, man. Joey <laughs> Molnar. Is that who you got in a fight with? Nah, I or, ain't. I ain't gonna lie, shit so crazy. I was, I'm cool with them boys. Nah, bro, everybody's cool now. Hey, but I don't remember fighting them boys. But yeah, them boys is, yeah, they was there. That shit was lit. But I think I, it's okay. I think after that, man, we end up partying with them boys type shit, man. Bro, facts. It was all Everything love, got squashed. Though. It was all love, but it was more so like, bro, these boys are actually cool. What the fuck are you tripping for? It all it, it, be, it originated it from like football, bro. Really I like think it was from football. Facts. It was. Yeah, and then we were like, like, oh, we can sure. fight each other? Word. Like, <laughs> Man, hey, I ain't gonna lie. We went from beating them boys to them boys whooping out ass 76 to 0, bro. That shit was crazy. Damn. They did have a little run right there. Niggas was hard. Them boys it was, was after I was out of school. It was so crazy. We were supposed to go to Bluffton High that year, and we said no. For real? Yeah, because... You know, we you couldn't change uh, addresses type shit, but I stayed in Bluffton, but I had my uh, my aunt's address. Hmm. Bluffton was new, like a generation before us. All our parents, there was only Hilton Head and shit. Like, hey, my boy Bishop, dog, uh, that nigga so tough. He got a mission lined up, so mean. Ah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey baby, hey baby, hey crazy. baby, I'm I'm gonna be so real with you, girl. I'm at this podcast with my dog, but man. That's sexy red, bro. Hey, That's hey, you hey, he got to get sexy hey, red. Hey, I'll be, hey, I, 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 I be done, know, I'll be done in 30 know. minutes, girl. I'm waiting yeah, on you. That's big sexy. Yo, sexy, sexy red, right come on the podcast. Uh, uh, we got your soulmate right here. Please come on. I ain't going to lie. We're going to get you right. You come on here. I ain't going to cap it. I'm going to get you right Y'all look good together. Leave. He look like he needs sexy red on his own. I do. Sexy red, put him in his place, man. Hey, listen, I really love fuck you. Fuck your baby man. daddy. Yeah, fuck your baby daddy. I really love you. Like, you can still be cordial with that nigga or whatever, but just like... Man, know, hell nah, shit. man. Keep it real, man. You, how you gonna love her and you want her to be with somebody else, bro? No, I said be cordial. Like, Is Chief like, Keefe her baby daddy? No, hell nah. No? no? I'm her baby daddy. The secret's man, it- out. Hey, she been she been doing a lot of plans. She had Huncho up there. She had y'all gonna say she, she ain't a hoe and nobody knows who her baby daddy is. Yeah, her she's baby daddy is something. I don't even know who she. I, I, I know yeah, her music. I don't know her. From the hood or some shit. It's some nobody who's just hitting. Yeah, yeah, hey, I ain't gonna lie. And whoever that nobody is, that nigga rich too. Cause that's his yeah, baby mama. Yeah, she real. Yeah, she real though. She stuck with her home. Man, too. he yeah. knew what he was she doing. Hey, listen, she loved that nigga. Definitely, I wish I would have. Hey, she loved that nigga. And guess what? I love her. She loved that nigga because guess what? Free her baby daddy till she got. Yeah, the song with Drake. Yeah, that mm-hmm. nigga that's locked Drake up, definitely hit. All right, so. Bitch was talking about he love her, bro. I do love her. He really her. do. He love Ratchet. Women. Mm. Hey. It's something about, no, it's something about Sexy Red, though. It's just You like something. Ratchet women, though, though. Yeah, Chief, yeah, he, he gonna come for you, bro. Do, it's something about Sexy Red, You though. like a girl to tell you, shut the fuck up, boy, come here. Yeah. He said shake your dress, yeah. bro. You don't even got dress. Right, <laughs> hey, he the type of nigga that want to fight her, then they want to fuck out the way. I don't Get got you? time to be having a fight. Hey, Bishop, 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 we was in Charleston. That's how they act out there. You get you a Charleston. Get yeah, you the, dog. We shut in Charleston. Shut it through. Shut it through. Water bottle. Water bottle. Hey, I'm gonna keep it so real. Shut it through. Water bottle. Hey, hey, hey. She throwing water bottle at you. She like you. She said, you got me yeah. fucked up. Hey. You <laughs> not about to play in my face. This shit had to be in a <laughs> Waffle House parking lot. No, no, we was in the shoot at the twenty, the twenty versus twenty. He's recording, and I'm over there I'm like, like, what the fuck? Going like on? slide flirt, flirting with a little, like with a little bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Shorty throw the fucking water bottle at my back. Yo, Shorty hey, was ready hey, to ta- I hey, said, and hey, they just hey, met. They hey, just hey, you, met. Yeah, back, like, bend your back. That shit hurt. Bitch. I ain't a lot of. Hey, that Charleston. Hey, a girl got a Charleston action, and she tough. Hey, hey, she, yeah. 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 Long man, he feel head. Shout out to my Charleston booze, <laughs> man. Shout out to my Charleston booze. I feel like Buford you know and uh, Hilton Head and Bluffton got different accents, too. I feel like. Y'all gullet. Y'all really, Bro, you know when, really when I went to LA with Motor City, they told me that we sounded like. Jamaican, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, like they were like basically saying people, Geechee, like, and I was like, I don't sound Geechee at all. Like, Geechee, what? Geechee, yeah. But they were telling us, I was like, bro, we're the least. Like, you should meet some of these dudes back home. Like, yeah, because yeah, I, I know, I know, I got an essay. Everybody tell me like, oh, you sound like this and that and I that. Like, you, you like a country black like, dude, but it's like goddamn. <laughs> like, la, 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 like, you talking about the looks of the accent? No, like the like, action. Like, like, oh, like, yeah, you gotta wait. You got a southern accent. I never, I never really like her. Like she heard. Yeah, I never really like her country. You got that. You got that Hampton. That that the accent. 
Nah, even, y'all's accent but, is different than ours. Yeah, I know, but different people. Like, like it's, it's deeper even, here, though. Even, right? even people from like Hannah, they be like, "Damn, you sound, you know, different." Yeah. Now nah, you do sound. So I, I sound, guess I guess because I, I move a lot. I move a lot, so. But I wouldn't thank you for Hampton because, like I said, you, yeah. you sound you're not even from. South but it's Atlanta. like even yeah, the yeah, slang, know, bro. Like, you know, yeah. my, on my daddy's side, everybody from like New York. So yeah, that's like, I got a lot. I got a lot. Like mixing between because I be I be up there and I. Oh, if I go to New York, bro, they're like, "You sound like a fucking." Yeah, when I go to New York, they be like, "You so country." Yeah. Yeah, facts. Yeah. But People bitches from- love that shit up up north. They're yeah. like, oh, southern accent, such a gentleman. Yeah, they don't like that though. Who in New York? They don't like it when I be like, oh, thank you, like my like my stepmom. I be like, yeah, they don't say like, thank you like, up there. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what the fuck you calling me ma'am for? I'm yeah, like, you ain't lying though, bro. What the fuck you mean? I'm respecting you, but my pops, my pops from New York, he not even like that though. You know, he just with the flow. <laughs> well, my dad's Brooklyn as fuck. Oh well, see, my my dad. I ain't never been to New York. I want to go to New York. I ain't gonna. Oh man, Dirty Deal in New York right now. Shout out Dirty Deal. Shout out Dirty <laughs> Deal for sure. Dirty Deal, man. Hey, but yeah. I'm I'm gonna just call it right now. We're going live from Heem's 30th birthday party. It's yeah. gonna be a live stream. Yeah, too. It's gonna be lit. I'm Do you know the location yet? Uh, I'm figuring it out now, but I'm definitely gonna find out within the end of April. Is it gonna be like tickets? Like uh, it's gonna have to be like I ain't gonna. I think it's gonna be so big. Not think. I know it's gonna no. be big. You know what I'm saying? Is it gonna be like live music? Like, what uh, you I mean, we just going DJ. We playing everything, man. From like old school throwback music, we doing everything. But it's gonna be like a real like tough, elegant vibe to where like it's a good scene. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Your, uh, tell your DJ to set up a soul train line. I'm gonna have fun. Bitch. You gotta pull up. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Like, hey, man. Hey, show them boys your phone, man. Ah! Hey, it's going wild, man. No. Dang, my dog going in. She's coming on the podcast, bro. She was feeling you if she reposted you. <laughs> you love that. He was hitting a dance and all, bro. Hey, no, hey, hey, is... hey, I did a whole reel about hey, they her. And they doing TikToks together. Man, I, did whole, I did a whole reel about sexy. Hey, that, yeah. hey sexy. that's that's modern day love. If y'all could do a TikTok together, you love her, boy. Yeah. She seemed like I the type will. of chick that, like, she'll choose you over Drake. She definitely would. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she don't oh, want yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. She I don't want that rich ass yeah. fucking like she cool, rich, so bougie she dude. That? She want like and I ain't broke. That, I'm a on real one. <laughs> hey, I ain't calling you, bro. I'm just, no, I'm just letting her know. I'm talking to her right now because oh, yeah. I'm looking at the camera like, yeah, yeah. yeah she like, don't want to do with a butler. You know what I'm saying? Tell her how you feel, Come man. On, man. Like I love you, man. Like words Damn. can't explain how much he's confessing his love. You feel me? Like hey, I look at you every day, share you every day. It's a a um. Heem, let's wrap it up, man. Let the people know where they can find you on your <laughs> social media, your handles, everything. Hey, man. You can find me on Instagram, man. Heem the Boss. Snapchat, Heem the Boss. Hey. Humble, HumbleHustler.com humble coming soon. HumbleHustler.com coming soon, man. We going all the way up, man. Appreciate you, too. Hey, we might have to get the website up before this drop. Hey, we going to have to get dang. the website up. This going to be lit, man. Type, it, type, it, in your, type it in your fucking search bar. It'll yeah, be up. it'll be up, man. Humblehustler.com. Hey, we appreciate you coming, bro. So I appreciate out. you, man. You dropped a lot hey, of gems. My dog. I fuck hey. with you. Yeah. So, Everybody, be at Heem's fucking 30th birthday party. July 26th, right? July 26th, Friday. It's going to be legendary. It's going to be legendary. Shit's so crazy, The Heem way. The heme way, man. We're going to do it the right way, the right way, the right way, man. We're going to have fun, man. It's going to be a lot of vibes in the building. Hey, so, we lit. Man, I'm talking about nothing but good vibes, man. It's always good vibes when it's a heme hey, party, dog. Hey, it's, it's love, man. Hey, everybody, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And now we're going to cut to a live performance. It's giant. Bambino. This is I spent my holidays in jail, couldn't wait to get back. Uh, lost everything, I'm trying to make the shit back. But I really don't want nothing if it ain't some get back. Still got unfinished business and I can't forget that. Lost my mama last year, I can't accept the face facts. All this pain I'm going through, you can never fake that. They told my son that I don't want him, hope he never think that. All he know is that he left and he never came back. The police still got my shit, I'm trying to get the Drake back. There's some dirt around this bitch, I hope they never trace back Knock his dog face off, tell the vet replace that Chop her like a chainsaw, I'm bringing leather face back My young niggas reckless, got these niggas restless We don't print the newspapers, but we known the press shit Had a shootout with your stepper, he ain't try to step since Trying to find out where you at, I'm coming to your residence With my seat down low, all my windows pitch black 
I got murder on my mind, got my AK in my lap Catch a nigga out of bounds, pull up on you where you at Niggas tryna lay me down, swear to God I'm coming back And I'm ready to get to trippin', ready to go the distance Ready to make examples, already made my decisions I'm ready to do whatever, ready to go whenever Ready to go to heaven, I'm ready to meet the devil Even though I'm from the I, I'm a B-Town cat Anytime you see me out, I'm in B-Town strap I done seen some crazy shit and you don't be around that Nothing less than 30 rounds and I keep a brown flag Grew up around some real niggas, I don't be around rats Tell the truth, half them niggas out in B-Town rats Say he gon' do what to me, we gon' see about that Fuck around and get somebody else in B-Town clap Boy who's soft, not us, boy your squad, not us Pulled up on me and my youngins, every rod got up Who that nigga running around and say he robbed, not us